Oh, what's up, Dr. Tears? How is everybody doing? Hola. Ooh, that, that viewing number jumped up quick. Anybody here? Hello. Hi, Melmac. And everybody. What are we doing today? We are doing crime scene photos. Ooh, never before seen. No, never before seen. Well, some bonus material. Maybe, maybe seen, but not in HD. Right. Can anybody hear me in chat? I can hear you. Anybody hear me in chat? They're saying yes. Okay. Kathy was the first one I heard or seen to say yeah. Um, shout out to Amy for sending me some photos that I had never laid eyes on before in my life. And you are looking at one of them. And this is the day, February the 1st, that T is moving out. And that is her brother standing there in the red. Yep, that's Dakota in the red with the blue beanie on. And and I'm assuming his probably wife or girlfriend or somebody in front of him. That's um, the auntie. Oh God. And this is going to be, if you look at what Letitia's wearing, this is prior to her interview with Spencer Wilson on the side of the road. Oh, wow, it is, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yep. So they move out and then she waves down some press and then they duck down a side street and she does her, her interview. So, yeah, this is her supervised move out of the Stout family home. Well, somebody, I mean, it's completely off topic, but somebody smashed the hell in out of that car and behind them, didn't they? You know, every time I've shown this photo to somebody, they're like, what happened to the car across the street? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, somebody got some serious whiplash in that view. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they were aiming for Letitia and missed. Um, but before we get rolling, I want to say hi to everybody and thank you for coming. Um, I I whittled it down to about ninety pictures, so it, it you know it won't be a, a super long live because. There's only so much you can talk about in a picture. Um, um, so thank you, everybody, and thank you, mods, the ones who couldn't make it. Um, since I was doing my fashionably late thing, actually, we wasn't. We, was, we were working on something. She was showing me a trick how to watermark on YouTube is why, why we were late. Um, and then I had to upload this photo and there's a couple of other new ones of her moving that you know I wanted to open up with. And then we'll get to the... 90 or so that I put together today. Um, so let's go ahead and get it started. So that's 
these are these three will be it's the day she's moving out and it was at 12 50 on february the first is when this neighbor was the one that was snapping these pictures and that's a shot of inside the van um kind of an odd way to start loading but hey to each his own i guess just start throwing stuff in there but that's what they were doing they were literally gathering up clothes and stuff and anything they could put them in suitcases laundry baskets what have you it was not an organized move they were trying to get in and out as fast as they can with as much as they could take because of her paranoia mm -hmm. then here's a, a clearer view and a from a further distance but again i mean you can't you can't see much i mean I, this looks like clothes and i don't know what else maybe you know have a little more info in me than i do on well if you go to the next one you'll see it um the next one you mean with gannon hmm? with gannon yep okay give me just a second because whatever reason yeah that was the that was the first van, van rebecca gomez that was the first one this is before they moved all the belongings from one van to the second van that and then okay so if you look at this one look at the blanket that he's sleeping on or sleeping under this is the proof of life photo from monday morning and go back to the floor of the van and you're going to see that blanket in the van You see it? Um, yep, right in there. In here? Mm -hmm. Right in here? Yep. It's and got, looks like it's got grain wrapped around it or something. Yep, and that is not the blanket that's on his bed when they have the body cam footage the blanket yep. bed during the body cam footage is more like an american flag type bedding like americana type bedding uh -huh. that's crazy man I've, I've never laid eyes on those before now i will tell you this gannon had two beds in his room they were more likely separated bunk beds. Um, you know, like they weren't stacked anymore. They were side by side. And so that's not necessarily the one that he was wrapped in when he was found. Not necessarily. I don't know. There could have been two of them. But the fact that a neighbor snapped this photo and then we had the proof of life photo and the affidavit that was in black and white. And then we later see it in color. And then we know he was found in that blanket or that, you know, but those, but when you have children and you have bunk beds, normally the, um, the bedding is matching. So it's possible there were two, two of those blankets. So I can't say that's the one he was found in, but it is the same blanket as far as the pattern and style. Okay. 
And do remember, this is before, because there were two rental vans. Um, the aunt rented the van at first, and then something must have happened because the aunt didn't want to pay for the van anymore. So Letitia went and rented her own van, and they switched all the items from van number one to van number two. And that's when Dakota testifies that Letitia had this suitcase right. that he hadn't seen before. After, she was really struggling with it. Yeah. With, after she'd been gone a good amount of time. And one of the major ways you could tell that this is the first van, in case there's anybody like doubting it, is that the, sec the second van has a cargo area divider. And if you see this one, it does not. Right. Yeah, you'll they'll they'll see the the other one in the in the binder when we get started on it. Um, but yeah, you'll, they're literally in the other one. You can't see these two seats. There's. Now, a, I don't believe the other one had a side door. I'm not a hundred percent. I don't think the second one had like a side door. I think it was rear access only. It was rear access only, right, right. This, that's what defines this as the first van. It's not just when it was taken, that it was taken outside the home. Like you could, because we, we know there's two vans. We could definitively say, because there's no uh, cage dividing the passenger area from the cargo area. And the second van does not have a slider on the side. It's rear access only. So, thank you for those. That's that was that was so welcome. Much. I didn't even hear my phone ding when you sent them earlier. I was, like I told you, I had put them out on Twitter during the trial, but there was so much during the trial that, and I've they've been posted before, and they've been shared other places, but I don't think. Um, they got the attention they have deserved until the trial when they laid out everything as factual before, you know, we were all kind of speculating about how things happened and we didn't know about two vans and we didn't know about. So, you know, now with all the context, um, they're very telling. I mean, the cops are standing right there. And it's funny because I was listening to the audios today. And there's, I know there's at least one, but if I remember correctly, there's multiple from that day where she and I are talking to each other. And I don't know. I must have been. I must have been zoned out a lot during the trial because I. I don't. I you know. I I've heard a lot of new stuff that. Just, I don't remember hearing during the trial. I don't know. If they played all of these audio exhibit exhibits. I don't know if they played them in full length or not. Um, maybe they did. I don't. I can't remember. Um, I know in court there were times when they would enter an exhibit and they would say the total recording is this long. We're going to start at blah 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 because. Right. You know that's that's the important part, or because there's long pauses, or or what have you. Um, but yeah, it's confusing when you've been immersed in this stuff, and then you see it presented at trial because your brain fills in blanks that aren't there, and then it's like, did I see that in court, or did I see that somewhere else? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's um, and you know, getting to see them in HD 
or I call it HD, whatever you want to call it, getting to see them clear instead of through them being scanned and, or, you know, screenshot 50,000 times and shared, you know, just makes all the difference in the world. Yeah. To me. To me. Leanne Burton, that table between the beds and the bedroom, I think, I'm not 100% sure, there is a close-up in the case file of that, of that table. It looks like one of those like activity tables sometimes they have like a train pattern on the top um and they have like little drawers where you can put the toys or you can prop it up and it has like a whiteboard or a chalkboard or something my kids had one of those it looks a lot like that this one has obviously been painted and i'm thinking it was painted mario colors like um like Mario, Super Mario Kart, or like Nintendo colors, because it's like red and blue. Um, but it is a, it's quite a big table. Obviously, that first picture was just the outside of the house looking into the garage. And then this is just them walking into i think i'm 99 percent sure that's harley laying there on the couch it is it is um, this question real here real quick dandy lioness says are these made public after the trial is over and kathy did respond and she said yeah if you want to pay a fortune for them these were purchased eric put in a request and purchased these after the trial these are not free to the public they are free to you here but um not no, the, the total price was 425 dollars yeah and he he for, paid for the case file so he paid for you to have access to these and also if tracy is in here thank you for the burger earlier tracy before i forget um so yeah not really much to see with that one and then you know, one thing i did want to mention and it's about the body cam i'm amazed that at no time in any of the body cam did we ever hear a dog bark when the cops were in the house? Not one time. And, no. I, heard, and I know that's not a big deal usually, but the reason I bring it up is because the night that Leticia slipped out of the hotel to go dump his body, I don't think the dogs would have barked. No. And, you know, we were, we were talking about this the other night and I want to say two things. I remembered after we talked that Harley mentions that when they were in the van, they were feeding the dogs CBD treats to keep them calm. So it's possible that the night the cops were here, they had the CBD treats as well. I mean, I think that's highly probable. And yeah. then does so in the probably had them in the hotel too i would imagine if they were using them in the van and then the second thing that i think that you and i talked about the other night that's important is in all the body cam vid video they go through every room of the house we see every bedroom in the house we see the common living areas and yet we never see lena yeah yeah I i'm not sure I'm not, I mean, like you said, we were talking about the other night. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody in chat may know, but I have no clue where that child is. Not yeah. A, not a clue. I mean, and to listen, to listen, after listening to the audios today, not every minute of every one of them, but to hear, you know, Leticia talk about it, you know, Lena is there all night. 
so, you know, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody might know more than than we do as far as where she may have been. It's just weird because at this point, Al, I mean, this is this is Monday night. Al isn't home yet. Landon's not in town yet. They don't have good friends in town. Uh, Harley's at the house. Harley has been, you know, Harley went to Dollar Tree with Lena. So where, where is Lena? I mean, like. Yeah, I, I, because, I mean, she is. I don't, I see it says, I assume maybe they pulled her into a cop car or something, but have no idea in reality. I don't think so because this was a runaway, like check-in type of thing at this point. And they didn't separate Harley, nor, nor did they, we talked about this a little bit the other night on the live, but nor did they ask Harley any questions that were pertinent that I I mean, I've watched it two or three, four, I think I've watched it five or six times now um, that I can attest to. Um, the only thing I really see is the cop kind of fawning over the dog with Harley and almost kind of like flirting with her. I, I didn't hear any questions directed at Harley about Ganon. I didn't hear her ask any officer any question about him um but you know it is what it is um it's just weird and 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 you know jazzy boop says um leticia probably made sure to keep her out of sight so she wouldn't talk at that moment i i mean she was with a cop so she couldn't move her around the house and i mean they were like looking in bathtubs and closets everywhere um i didn't even hear the cops ask her how many children were in the house or how many other people were in the house the only thing close to that that i heard was when they were going downstairs and eric pointed this out to me the cop said is there anybody else down there and or anybody downstairs right now and leticia says no well there shouldn't be Well, yeah, she says, no, there shouldn't be. And then she corrects herself and says, no, there's nobody down there. She, she, you know, again, take that for what it's worth. Like it could have just her nerves and been a slip of the tongue. But you, she, she states that there's nobody there in the house. And that cop literally, the guy who did search, he went into every bedroom. And why would you have Lena hide? You know, even. Yeah. Well, and, you know, somebody just said um, some pretty bad detective work here. Actually, I could see where somebody might say that, but I, I want you guys to remember that this was kind of like a, a check-in very early on. This had just been, you know, he'd been reported at six. The, the body cam's like around 10, 10-ish. So you know, he was, he was a runaway, classified as a runaway at this point. They weren't, they were looking for him hiding in the house. They weren't looking for who killed Gannon. Um, they, they weren't even looking for a, a murder scene. They were simply, you know, he was reported as a, as a runaway. And they weren't detectives. And the, yeah, they're not, they wasn't even detecting for anything. They were simply looking for a child in the house is is all they did and to their credit i will say this i'm sure when detectives got involved and looked back at this body cam it was invaluable for how thoroughly that guy went through the house oh it was because there's there are screen grabs and you'll see them they, they they took screen grabs from his body cam. Because I I ask you about it because there's one particular tub when they're in the storage room 
they took a screen grab and it was admitted into evidence. So there's, I don't know what, but for whatever reason, that tub was important enough to meet, to be admitted. Right. And remember that, um, of course, Lena's a minor, but Harley's a minor too, because I know when I was researching this case, it was a group decision with the people I was working with that we did not talk about Harley in detail until she turned 18. Um, she's 17 here. So she's a minor too. And she's not educated or anything like that. I do want to back up and eat some crow because during the last live, it does say that the Amazon box was in a chair and I thought they were talking about it being in this computer chair right here, but it's not. And I still haven't. Thank you, Kristen Ward. Thank you for becoming a member. Um, I still haven't. So, you know, if we, I don't, I haven't even looked at chat. We got 115 or 16 in chat. If you see an Amazon box sitting in a chair somewhere, please point it out to me as we go through these. So two things, Christy Hughes says, I thought they found blood in the tub. You know, they do use the word tub somewhere in this, but it's actually the laundry sink. I believe that um, is one of the things included in this case file. And then Leanne Ferguson, when we get to, uh, it's actually on the screen. She says, I think he was in the living room in a long box. Um, you know, talk about the Christmas box right here? Yeah, the Christmas tree. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, we had a we had a talk about that box the other night, didn't we? We did have a talk about that box the other night. Um, I think that might be a possibility. Um, it's it's hard because it is the end of January and they're probably putting away Christmas decorations. It looked to me at first, like that box was still, um, had that really tight, tight, like plastic stuff around it, but it's probably underneath the box. Um, there is stuff piled on top of it. She is nervous when she's in that area. Um, you know, Eric and I went through, we, we oh, talked. She goes, she goes flying down those stairs when yeah, that one yeah. top goes down there to point out something about a box cutter. Mm -hmm. And she actually points toward that box. Um, thank you, someone. Thank you so much for the burgers. Um, but in the body cam, when Leticia, when that cop goes down there, I mean, you can almost hear her sprinting down them steps to point out something about him saying a box cut a box cutter, and she doesn't want him thinking, "Oh my God, there's a box cutter." Well, why are you? Why are you? Why is that even in your mind? <laughs> right, right. Because she's because we live our own truth. That's why it's. We leak our own truth. Thank you, Sassy, for the support on Cash App. That's so nice of you. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so for those of you that are sensitive, I'm about to say something. I won't, Eric, I promise I won't get too graphic. But Ms. Harmony wrote, if he was bleeding, the blood would seep through the box. I, there was so much blood under the bed and in the mattress and everywhere else. At this point, he wouldn't be bleeding anymore. And 
what we know afterwards is decomposition fluid. So he would be in a state where his body, yes, would be starting to break down, but there wouldn't be liquids. Right. Or if there were not large volume, all of that has already happened. A lot of a lot of the blood is in his comforter, in his sheets, in his mattress, in the carpet, in the carpet pad, and down on the concrete and everything. Right. Because once your heart starts beating and certain things happen, um, Lividity that, sets in. Yeah, that it, that all stops. Sorry, Tina Reddington. I'm so sorry. Um, Thank you, Sassy, for the cash app. I I just now, I just now got it. Thank you so much. Um, this is the the burn area, the the whole candle garbage nonsense. Um, but I do you remember her telling Al and about she had her headphones on? Mm hmm. Yep, and they were very specific. They, Detective Bethel, was and her partner were very specific when they were in the interview with her, talking about which headphones they were. If you recall that conversation, uh -huh. uh, yep. headphones. Yep. So that may have come from some of these uh, pictures. And this is. Let me zoom in on that. I'm pretty sure that's part of the the mess too. Yeah, because you can see candle wax. Right on the sofa. The sofa. The sofa she was gonna sell to fix the carpet. Yeah. The, she was using her her threat to, you know, scare the bejesus out of the kid already. Well, and let's just talk about um, I didn't mean to laugh. It's just frustration. That carpet cut oh. out and burning the pad underneath, destroying the pattern. That's not. Candle wax doesn't do that. No, candle wax is not going to seep through. It's not. I mean, oh. everybody knows that. You can, honestly, I mean, even as, like, you're not supposed to play with candles, but even, like, you know, when you're putting out a candle, you can act if you're not using a, a, a little tool or, or you're not putting a lid on it to snuff out the oxygen, whatever it is, and you get a little bit on your finger, it doesn't burn and it just hardens right away. It does not seep down to oh, that. Yeah. That is. I mean, it, it, it literally, as soon as it hits something that isn't hot, it gets hard. Yes. And that didn't sound very good, but you, that, you, that, that. you know what I mean. <laughs> um, yeah, Kathy. but yeah, I mean, the white wax, floor wax. is the the white part is the subfloor or like the concrete. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and and look at the look at the design of it. I mean, what the hell is that? I don't know. I'm going to have to step away for two minutes. Yeah. I mean, that's not, well, crap. That's not even how candles, that's not how a candle would I don't know. It's just, it's amazing. I mean, because you can see, you can see candle wax over here at the base of the couch. So how do you get, how do you get a candle that's supposedly sitting over here, uh, I'm assuming, 
but yet you have all this candle wax over here on the couch going down this way like this at this angle which actually lines up and i'm not colombo here but you know it lines up perfect with this area on the carpet so my question is and i'm strictly Strictly just throwing this out there as something to think about. Did she slap a candle out of his hand? Or did she throw a candle at him? Meaning, meaning the wax. Did she throw... You know, the candle was lit. Obviously, it had the wax liquid buildup in it. Is that how it got? I mean, how else can you explain it being here, here, and higher up here? Exactly. No, I, I, I've, if you go back in time and listen, to me and and other people talk about this case i've always believed that she whether it was lit or not when she threw it at him that the candle or it didn't necessarily have to be thrown at him but the candle was thrown um and uh you know well actually i mean the the candle doesn't have to be thrown just the liquid in it right right the, the actual glass itself isn't broke no um but the candle potentially could have been what caused the head wound because you interesting i hadn't considered that yeah because um you can have a head wound that does not bleed um but will crack and cause a brain bleed and that could lead to the disorientation the um the not walking properly things like that that that's that is a possibility i do believe that i i have to be honest i believe that during this time because of the video that leticia leaked herself for whatever reason um and al says it too you you hear it in court she was emotionally torturing him. So do I believe that she held his hand over the candle and tried to burn him? Probably. Yes. I don't believe any of that was an accident. That That's my personal belief. I can't prove it. Um, there's also a sock found in the candle. Um, you know, I, you know, wonder if she was holding him down and sticking his foot in there. I don't know. But what I do know is that she was emotionally abusing him at the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we have the physical signs on his body after he's found. And we have Gannon, Gannon testifies for himself on her late recording. He testifies. And his body is testimony to what happened to him. And in the late recording, he says, I'm worried about my burns. So he about my burns, burned. yeah. He was burned. Carrie, or, or, I'm sorry, Carrie R. Carrie R made a comment. She said that you sound a little muffled. Oh, I do. I'm sorry. How about now? Is that better? We do have a storm moving through right now. <laughs> yeah, you kind of like you kind of go in and out a little bit. Like we can hear you, but the volume isn't consistent. Hmm. How about now? Is it better or no? We'll see. <laughs> Not really. Now it is. Yeah, now it is. We could, I could, I don't know, like, cause I'm listening to the StreamYard feed and then I'm seeing some comments, but, um, like you can hear like wind in the background. Like what's, is that the storm maybe? Well, that's my 
the fan or air conditioner that I got going on, but the, we do have a storm that's moving through right now too. Um, so if I talk louder, like right now, is it, yes. is it better? Okay. That's perfect. Okay. So yeah, I was trying not to talk too loud, but I can, yeah, I can, I can talk louder. Um, but yeah, she, you know, obviously, I don't know if he was sitting on the couch or what was going on, but she either threw it at him or slapped it out of his hand or did something that, you know, that created this large of a wax mess up. Yeah, even um, even if you use like Yankee candles or Bath and Body Works candles, um, like the larger ones that come in like the, the larger vessel, that's a lot of wax spillage. And, and I, I'm going to say this too, and this is judging, but like if Gana was downstairs that late at night by himself, like I don't believe that he lit a candle. I just don't. I believe that she, maybe she left one lit down there or like somebody mentioned before she you know we leak our truth and we incorporate what's going to um convict us into our story proving our innocence so the house smelled you know clean and like they said a coconut kind of smell or whatever like <laughs> she has she admits to the candle so they ask about but she also uses other candles to cover up the smell or air freshener or whatever you know but the bottom line is that's a lot of wax that has seeped way way down it's not normal if you go back in time there were a million people on the internet including me who sat at home and found a remnant of carpet and spilled wax on it to see what would happen to see if the carpet would catch on fire to see how much wax came out and that's just not what happened there she's obviously i mean obviously she's not telling the truth exactly tina you would have to burn a candle for like eight hours or it'd have to be on one of those candle warmers and not lit. Eric, are you still there? True yeah, yeah, somebody somebody just sent me a video. Miss Harmony, are you in here? She is. Yeah. Again, it's um most uh, carpets are, I mean, they're not like fireproof, like if your house catches on fire, but it's hard. Hang on. I got an iPhone that's freaking all the way out. Yeah. Um, that's what she just sent me, Leanne, and that's why I muted my muted my microphone because I was listening to it and are you aware of this Amy? I I am. I've always hesitated to talk about well I don't have I mean I don't really run my my channels inactive right now. So yes I am aware of it. I have hesitated to talk about it because it's never been like spoken about uh by the da so i i'm not saying that it's not what we hear i'm just saying it hasn't been confirmed publicly 
Um, and I am one of those people that like, I try, I mean, I will speculate and I try to be responsible when I speculate. And when I know something that I haven't verified, I may like drop a hint to see if anybody else knows, but I try not to start anything, but I do, as long as it's brought up. Um, Have you heard it? Actually heard it? Yes. I hear the, I hear the dogs going crazy, but I don't, I don't hear any screaming. I just forwarded her email to you. Okay. I, I, I can clearly hear the dogs, but I don't hear, I don't hear him screaming. Um, California moon. Um, yeah, Harley was at work. Yeah, she was a she was at work. I'm sorry, I meant to answer that a minute ago when somebody was asking. After the dogs turn volume all the way up. Oh no! If you have something that you want to share, like you did it the appropriate way, and it's always appreciated, Miss Harmony. Um, I I have heard it. I I just I'm not a audio expert. I I know what I think I hear, um, but it it wasn't mentioned, and so I hesitate to but i think at this point i mean that was like you know before trial and and all of this stuff came out um i think maybe it's okay to talk about now because we know he was we now know he was murdered in the house and we also know that they knew that right away um, and he did have his coat on while he was being stabbed exactly so and it no had to have been sometime real soon when they had returned from um the garden exactly garden of the gods no not, no not from oh no not from garden of the gods because that it this was like a 10 or 11 o'clock at night because she's watching uh kobe bryan on tv the the news footage uh, I, okay, what are we talking about? I'm talking about the dogs barking. This, oh, okay. was, during, this was during the daytime. Okay, okay, okay. I got confused. Um, I have to say that it is, it is. I don't, I don't, oops, um, somebody says they don't recall during court that they talked about gunshot sounds, so we seem to address it though, um, she used a pillow to muffle that. Yeah, you'll, and you will see that, you will see, you will see how she, was able to silence that. Um, but what you won't see, it, uh, and you know, maybe some other knucklehead who gets it will put those pictures out since they did put them out during the trial, but I'm not doing it. I'll let somebody else fall on that sword if they're, you know, if they're that, that thirsty. Um, but I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm not showing, I'm not showing, you know, his clothes and any, any, anything like that. Um, Miss Harmony, I, I will, I will listen to that, um, 
after we get finished up with this live and what i'll do is i'll put it i'll put it in audacity and i'll boost it even more um but thank you for sending that that's that's also new to me but and you know you know Ames there's never going to be nothing new for her. no that's not true that's not true. there's i mean I, this is redundant but i will i will say it again and i'll say it a million more times the reason that i I mean, there's always a case or something that gets you into true crime. But the reason I got into true crime on YouTube and other platforms is because I enjoy discussing the cases with other people because everybody sees different things. Everybody hears different things. Everybody notices different things. And, you know, it's funny because just the other day I was looking at some legal documents and somebody came to me and pushed everything I was working on aside and said, second prayer, you need fresh eyes. And it's a case that I've never looked at before. And it's not like I'm a superhero, but I picked up on three things that 20 people have been working on for three weeks because it was new eyes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah, I, that's, that's why I enjoy discussing true crime because everybody sees things and thinks about things differently. And um, I am one of those people, like I am, I don't create a story in my head and try to make it work. I almost try to discount it. And on my mind can always be changed and consistently can be changed. And, um, and that's, that's why I enjoy this whole experience with like all of you. Um, and echoing on what you just said, I was going back over the very first body cam that we got um, a couple of days ago and going through it with a fine tooth comb. And I know you already know about it. And I know Kathy already knows about it, but in that body cam, the very first one that we got, when Leticia, there's already two cops that are standing out here in this area, just behind his chair, right? When Leticia and that other cop walks out of this room right here, Leticia rubbernecks around this corner and is looking hard at something on crap at something on the table behind the table i don't know i don't know what it is she's rubbernecking and looking for and then she stops and pauses and leans right up against the wall right here and you can still see her looking down toward this table like behind it or on it and yeah. she's telling the cop that she came out of that room with she's given she's telling him what gannon's weight is giving him his description and these other two cops are talking over here and then she kind of wanders over here where they are and the other cop follows her and is standing behind, beside her. And as she's standing here, she turns her head over her left shoulder to look for something again and she gets it about halfway turned and the cop's phone rings and so she turns her head back around so there's something here there there is something going on here but i have i have looked i have looked i have looked um 
Amy and I have looked. I had plunder look. But I, you know, she's just way, like I said, she literally rubbernecks when she comes around that corner looking for something and then plants herself right there. She does. And we even talked about how while she's doing that and while she's, cause you guys are saying like, she's really quick to turn off lights. She's really quick to close doors. She is basically like, are we done down here? And she's looking up the stairs. She's trying to get them out of there. It's kind of like when you're trying to get somebody out of a room. And know? she puts, and she puts herself in between the two cops that are already here and the other guy is standing beside her. So she put herself between them and this area. Yep, the same way she put herself between the cops and Gannon's bed. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Don't come any closer. Um, Christy Hughes says, could she be making sure the computer screen is off? I mean, I'm sure that it could be something like that, but there are a bunch of like, uh, cube organizers in there there's a bunch of trash stashed in there uh there's a there's a torch lamp like that really tall lamp with a glass white globe on the top over there um it could be a myriad of things but whatever it is she is focusing over in that area and then basically trying to she's doing two things during that time she's trying to shut it down downstairs and she's also trying to keep up with what the cops are saying in front of her and what is going on the phone behind her she's trying to listen to everything yeah and she literally leans over at one point and tries to read the cop's phone the, yeah. the guy well, who's he, standing beside he's writing her. he's writing on his incident Report sheet and she leans over and tries to see what he's writing so she's tracking is what she's doing she's tracking like what are they noticing what do they know what do they like it's very apparent and again hindsight is 2020 you know we're playing monday morning quarterback here because we know the end of the story but um she is laser focused on either that wall or that area she's trying to get them out of the downstairs for obvious reasons we know now and she's also trying to listen to what's going on the phone what the cop is writing and what they're discussing and anything that comes over the radio too like she's like sitting in a restaurant trying to keep up with everybody's conversation and yeah she's trying she's trying to she's trying to control everybody at every step along the way she's trying to control the, the whole thing that yeah. that is perfect that is a perfect blanket statement she is the same way she tries to control the narrative on the phone with al she's trying to control the narrative on facebook she's trying to control the narrative with the cops she's trying to control this situation in her house Bear with me for just a second here, because the good thing is with this is I finally figured out how to do this, and it doesn't take very long at all. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I show you my box? I just didn't want to be stuck on the cutter, the box thing. Yeah. I think I still had down there. Okay, because you weren't in here. You weren't in here in the beginning, right? I thought I had. I didn't know if I had that box cutter and all that stuff in there because I told him. See, I, I and I never do when I was looking through the photos. I never did see a box. About he that doesn't matter. Dropped a candle last night. I'm gonna. I'll okay. show you what I'm. And I was. I thought <laughs> I, I must have picked it up. I was just making sure I didn't want you to be like, oh, just a box cutter. But yeah, I had to cut this, and I told them I wasn't even gonna tell Dad, and yeah, I was gonna figure out a way to put this in there. From the situation, but at least you got a cart. Yeah, right. I just the people here, the, the friends, they were just the ones that were the door with the bike. People like that, and a lot of the time right. that I looked like none of this. Um, what was that? Was it? 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 Was
and the parents may not know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know you probably gave some of this information to dispatcher already, but can you give us a description of him from top yeah, to bottom? So, um, hair color, eye color, any art? Yeah, so deal? brown, brown, um, brown, brown, um, very pale, like, uh, whitish color skin. I'm guessing he's at this house um, that they don't have. And then, um, and the parents may not know he's um, there. And then yeah. well, they said 410. There was a weird. Look. I know it's blurry, but we'll watch her head. Text it. That guy about uh, something about bath pounds, salts. Maybe? And hey, if you uh, if I, I, if I can get some bath salts, that. do we have any bath salts? Yeah, I, I and my it. friend will let me play yeah, Sonic or something. In Look, she's still looking at everything around that computer area. And then she's going to run over and shut that closet door. And then, yeah, she'll shut the closet door. And then when she gets over in front of these other two cops. Their house. But she was still looking then. She was still looking. Yeah, I got it. And then uh, mom goes through everything. See, she started. Did you see her start to turn, right, start to turn her head? Yep. Right there. Right. Wow, that's a little too far. She starts to turn her head yeah, again and, and kill then, the phone. Uh, mom goes through everything, finds a like a like a. Uh, there, there's something there. I just don't know what. This is when she's leaning over to see what he's writing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, you know, I would almost give up a pinky to know what was stressing her out in that area. Mm -hmm. Now, in that photo, I did just see a can of Febreze. You know, I don't know, take that for what that's worth, but... Um, But anyway, I, I, I wanted you guys to see that she there's there's something here, and then I'll I'll shut up about it. But it it just struck me as really really odd, and you can see the Christmas box here. It's actually open, and you can see something white or something in there. But I still don't know what box cutter she's talking about. I, I, I've i never been able to locate one. And then this is looking into the storage area. And this might be new to a lot of people because it's a new angle. It may not be now because I did put it out on Twitter, I think. Um, I'll be honest with you, man. I, we should have done the watermark your way, Amy. But I'd already had these done, and it's okay. It's, it's up on the it's up on the screen. So. Well, yeah, but mine takes up such a huge you know blocks things and i was i tried to get the opacity down but obviously didn't do a very good job of it but just to just to put to sleep all of the i know there was a lot of chatter about there being something under his legs down here possibly a suitcase or all of that and at worst in this photo at worst He's drugged. He hasn't been stabbed. He hasn't been shot. He hasn't been beaten on the head or anything like that. He's drugged and burned for sure. Uh, at, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I did. I forgot the burn part. Um, that's at worst. You can see his hands are crossed here. Because it kind of looks like. He's not already deceased in this photo because. No. Um, is has metadata on it 
and it, it was taken that morning. She took it as proof of life because this was all planned. This, she, this was all planned. Um, she took it as proof of life to send to her husband. And they also have proof of life of him going to the truck. So. Right. Right. Even though he was stumbling. And you know, we can go back later, but um, I don't want to ignore this comment. Carrie R. said, Eric, when you zoomed in the back wall earlier, I saw a red mark on the silver on the back wall under the desk. Did you see it? I haven't noticed that before. On um, which picture? When we're talking about the area she's looking at, um, when you still shot at it on the back wall with the computer tables, she says under the desk. About this? Yeah. I think that's a, a map of something. I can blow it up real quick. But yeah, I, I did see that. Um, yeah, that's that's a map. Is what that is. They have stuff stuffed everywhere. Like. Now she does, this computer is only half open. And there's the Febreze I was talking about. I, I don't know, you know. I mean, it could be. It could be anything, but there there's something there, but I don't know what. I don't know. And she doesn't really look when when you watch her, she looks more directly straight down mm -hmm. in this area than she does. She's not looking really over in this area until she walks over to where these other two cops are and she starts to turn her head and then turns it back when the phone rings. But when she first enters that room and leans up against that wall, she is all, I mean, she is laser focused on, on this area here. Well, not, I mean, I know we have a lot of photos to go through and not to take away from it, but um, I, <laughs> I think that that aqua colored thing hanging over the chair looks more like a bath mat than a blanket. Like it looks like a, like an area rug, but I guess it could be one of those like velvety plushy, like squishy blankets, but it, it just looks very, um, it looks, I mean, and the only thing it literally matches are the, the binders on the shelf by the in between the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I know. <laughs> the docket blanket. <laughs> well, I know what she's got going on with that. I mean, because there's nothing else that's teal in that room that I see. No. Um, that's. It looking into and we've seen that one and then there's the the one that we've already seen this is what had everybody and i'd almost talk myself into thinking there was something there too but there there's just I don't think there is. I mean, especially with that other view. But that's just my opinion. And you see the I don't know, shark sheet or whatever that's on the bed right now, right? Mm hmm. Somebody was asking about what's on this table earlier, wasn't there? What did she uh, say? Somebody was asking about what was on that table earlier. Oh, they were saying it was like a big, it was a big table. He has um, like on the windowsill, he has all these like little cardboard things he's made. It looks like a, 
like maybe a steering wheel or something like that. And to the left on the windowsill, you'll see something with a white label on it. It's made out of a box addressed to Al Stalk. Yeah. Um, he, he made like little things out of cardboard boxes. Um, and then on the table, there's just like random toys and books. Um, I've talked about this before. Um, so those shark sheets are pillow fort from Target's kid collection. And he did have two beds. So I, you know, not a hundred percent, but most of the time when you have two beds like that, they're separated bunk beds. That looks like um, maybe the top bunk because the posts don't come up. Um, and she could have very easily taken the sheets from the second bed and remade it on the first bed. But you'll notice that the blanket, I was saying before, it was like an American flag or Americana or red, white, and blue. That is not the blanket he was sleeping underneath before. Right. Right. Um, that is looking into Harley's closet. Um, no, that's Alan Latisha's closet. That's Alan Latisha's? Yeah, because there's Al's camo stuff there. And then Latisha's. <laughs> Fear of Bradley and, um, yeah. 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 I mean, Amy and I had a, she had to break it down the whole shoe thing. I mean, how many pairs of shoes do you need to look exactly the same damn thing? <sighs> I don't get it, but hey, <laughs> whatever, man. Um, yeah, and this is the same closet. which would be in the master bedroom. And this is after that she had moved out. <laughs> Brooke Ellen thinks um, she's being attacked, the shoe comment. Um, I, the clothes are color coordinated. And I think that I might have confused Eric. That it that was Harley's closet. I remember we talked and I was like, that's Al's cam camo. And then we decided later that um that's her stuff. That's Harley's stuff. That that is? I believe so, yeah. Harley's, Harley's room is a different color, though. No, this is Harley's room. Look at the sheets and the bedding. This is Harley's room. That's the same outside the closet. That's the same lamp. Do you see on the right in the other photo? See the lamp right there? Yeah. It looks like yellow compared to the other one. Wow, yeah, okay. Yeah, and, and that's my, you guys, that's my fault because I was like, um, I was like, that's Letitia's closet. And we talked a lot about this room and the brand of the shoes and, and everything. And then ultimately we decided it was Harley's closet. She's got all the Vera Bradley backpacks down there on the floor. Yeah, Brooklyn, her Poshmark account is still up. Um, I, when I was researching this case and we found her Poshmark closet, we matched up the clothes to the ones in family photos. And um, there's a whole, a whole other backstory to that, but this is not, the time for that. And I believe that um, after she was 
um, arrested or, you know, a little bit before she was arrested and then after a lot of things in that closet sold. And I always wondered if it was like murderabilia type of thing, which I don't approve of, but to each their own. So she needed, she needed two closets. She needed one just for shoes. Too. <laughs> Yeah, Harley had a lot of stuff. And I know you already knew this, or probably everybody else did too, but um, I heard it for the first time myself today on one of the audio. I didn't know that he had been trying to adopt Harley for five years and Leticia wouldn't let him. Right. And this jumped out at me the other day when I was going through the pictures because I mean it is almost identical to the board that they found out on uh, out near Palmer Lake at the S curve out, yeah out of the S curve but I mean it is almost identical because you'll see the one that they found I mean, it has the same almost identical cut to it. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I tried to match the one that they did find to match it up with it, but it wouldn't do it. But daggone it, it wasn't because it wasn't close. Um, that's the suitcase that they found him in. And this is after they had that's not where they found it um it had been dragged to that spot um and that'll be all as close as you're going to get from me as anything pertaining to the suitcase unless you know somebody still has it up online um well I'll take that back. I do have one from a distance. Um, that's just an overhead map of the Scambia Bridge. Um, actually, several of them. And that's just a picture of them looking up underneath the bridge is what that is so that is the blanket with the weights And you can see the, it's the weights, or I don't know what anchors or weights or whatever you want to call those. And then you have the fish that are on the other side, sharks. Or, or yeah, it's like it's like a whole nautical thing. And when you flip them, they're different patterns. So yeah. Yeah, it's double sided. You can use either side of it. Yeah, there's anchors on one side and sharks on the other. So this was this was what was on originally on his bed, right or wrong? No, uh, no, no. But it is part of that bedding set. Okay, so she just used it to wrap him up in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this that's his pillow. Mm hmm. That's the blanket that was originally on his bed. That you see on the that, floor. That's, that's right, yeah. That's and then right. you see of him in the proof of life photo when he's sleeping. Dana Dane, you can get 
the crime scene videos, but you have to pay for them and they're expensive. Eric purchased them to share them with you all. This is just the um, the suitcase wrapped up in plastic, and they, if you remember, when they brought it into court, they brought it in real quick and uh, took it out as quick as possible because of the smell. Right. Right. Not really, you know, just not much to see. Frankly, that's his pillow, and you're going to see the hole in it. Yeah. That's a projectile that was found inside the pillow and that's a projectile Chloe, it was on, was on land um dandy lioness thank you so much glad you're watching chat because i haven't looked at it since we started i'm trying to put comments up because i don't want to block the photos guys so sorry and I know Kathy's acknowledging it in the comments, but sometimes when you're watching, like you're not, you're not watching the comments. And that's the, the gunshot. Yes. The gunshot hole through the pillow. that you know she obviously used as a silencer and then that's where it ex exited through the phone through or the, the phone. phone yeah whatever the inside of that is called um and then they got an a close shot of it. That actually looks like that one is still in the door. I think I that, for the, that the fragment out of. Yeah, yeah. You can see the projectile is still in that pillow. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's one of the projectiles. It still has the low fiber around it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just and I'm not breaking any news here, but it's just absolutely pitiful what she did to that child. Pitiful. <clears throat> the, you know, it it's so um it's so interesting that she took all the time to transport him, to conceal him, to dump him, and that she dump him with the bullet, the bullet and the pillow she shot him through of all the places they traveled and everything. Like, you know what I mean? I guess it's yeah. just beyond me uh, she went through all of the all of the trouble of making up all of those lies but leaves you know doesn't even consider getting these two projectiles out of the pillow mm -hmm. and that's literally you know two projectiles recovered from pillow in florida mm -hmm. which means they recovered them from inside that suitcase Right. Along with him. And that's one of them. And then uh, that says 
trace something fibers didn't remove it i believe those are the fibers that the when the bullet entered it burned the the micro the microfiber filling and the pillow oh god included that around the bullet they took a picture of that around the bullet Yeah, that's that's trace materials, hairs, fibers, debris removed from the bullet is what that is. And then there's another projectile. Uh, there's I don't know how well you all seen. It during the trial. Um, maybe some of you seen it really good. I don't know. Maybe some didn't. But that's the diagram that was used by the ME showing all of the the wounds. Yeah, it's the prunus supine view that the document during the autopsy. And, uh, you know, like I said, they're, they're, you can't tell anybody else what to do on their channel, but I hope that they respect the family enough not to ever put those pictures out. because they are devastating. So can you can you stop it right there? Yeah, I can stop it anywhere. All you got to do is say stop. OK, so when they talk about a head wound, there are natural you know, places where our skull is, um, comes together. Yeah, there's a scene. But this is not a little crack or a medium crack in his skull when you actually see the photo. Um, there's literally like a chunk taken out. Oh, well, there, there, there's a piece Huge of fissures. on the top of his skull that's probably... It's bigger than a nickel and probably it's closer to the size quarter. of a quarter. Yeah, it's, it's, I had my husband look at it, um, who used to perform a lot of autopsies. Um, and um, he said that it's, it's not as big as a silver dollar, but more like just a smidge less than a quarter, but significant. I mean, it, it is a significant head injury, which is why they, when they said the cause of death, it was either the gunshot wound or the blood force trauma. And that's why I said in that last live that she, I don't think she needed both, you know, to murder him after seeing that wound. No, he, he, my, my guess is, um, and, and based on like, I don't want to be like my husband, my husband, but based on talking to him and based on talking to some other people over time, my guess is that he had a head injury and he was dying. So sh she couldn't take him to the hospital. There was no going back at that point. Plus we know now that this was planned, um, not, not very well, but it was planned. Um, but so now he's dying, but he's not dying fast enough. And she's running out of time. She's running out of time. And she's already told too much. And Gannon's not going to be able to talk or he can't talk at this point, you know, without like, I just want you like, I, I don't want you to imagine because I don't want you to have nightmares. But, um, you know, it may be that he his speech was slurred at this point um, that he was 
un- inconsolable at this point, like that type of stuff. He, she couldn't allow him to talk to anybody, so he had to die. Yeah. yeah. And, and it had to be sooner rather than later. Right. Because Lena was about to be home. Harley was about to be home. Right. Because Lena, Lena was about ready to get out of school, right? Right. That's why they had to be home. That's why they had to be home from, you know, Petco and Palmer Lake area. And I mean, Petco is the only thing we know for sure that she did um, because they have the receipts. And then uh, Eric just showed you the receipt from Dollar Tree for the cleaning products. I thought there was actually one that was a lot clearer is why I went busting on by it. It was pretty green. Actually, it'd probably help if I'd zoom back out, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let's try that again. Sorry, guys. I I forgot. Yeah, there should be one that, coming up that's a lot better. Yeah, this one. I thought there was. And she actually... <laughs> Uh, Harley had this in the console of her car. Yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, could have gotten it from the store too, but they actually, um, they kind of got lucky because not only, you know, did they have proof that it was like done at the store, the person who purchased the items held on to the receipt and the receipt was on their personal property. What is what are the what's the AD black round salon qual elastics? Hair ties. Okay, so she okay. got hair. She got yeah, arm and she hammer. Yeah, things for herself. She bought. I believe she bought. Um, um, she bought some bubble gum for Lena. She bought some cotton rounds. I think some hair ties and either baby oil or baby lotion and then arm and hammer extra strength and then baking soda yeah so you got and and trash bags you got the carpet deodorizer that's one bubble gum trash bags baby oil angel of mine baby lotion so you have a good memory um extra strength deodorizer carpet deodorizer assured cotton rounds those are like little cotton balls smushed out you use to remove your makeup and stuff um hair ties and baking soda scented baking so that's also probably a carpet cleaner where does why do you think she gets a six and a half ounce baby oil and a 15 ounce angel of mine baby lotion um she uses it on her skin she she talks about products she uses online often and um i think she uses the baby oil to also remove um eye makeup oh you're talking about harley yeah Mm -hmm. yeah harley harley bought things for herself while she was there she bought ponytail holders, baby lotion, baby oil, and cotton rounds for herself. She bought Lena some bubble gum, and then she got the things that her mom asked her to buy, too. Okay, so there's all, but it's all on that same receipt, though, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So yep. that stuff, that stuff was for Harley. I was I was thinking that it was a laundry list for her to get cleaning supplies for. No, she is there to get a carpet deodorizer. <clears throat> Bot on. Carrie says, as far as I know, this is a list of things that Harley got. So Harley was getting her own things whilst getting the list of stuff for her mom. Yeah. And Lena was with her and Lena probably asked for bubble gum and Harley was like, yeah, okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is Latisse's shoes. The bottom of Nike's. The bottom of her Nike shoes. And remember to like look at the the blackish gray areas of those are raised. So that's how much blood she was walking in. That you know, it it got on the actual bottom of the shoe because the gray part is raised. Yeah, because this part wouldn't even be on the floor. Right. Yeah. And this, you know, these holes in the middle. Yep. The black is what would be on the floor. Yep. And that's a lot of blood. That, that is a lot of blood. And this is just another one. Um. This is in the, I don't know what you want to call it, his work area or whatever. It's garage. Garage. Um, but because you can see the extension cord and then, you know, before the, the blue star and then can't tell what that is right there in the middle of that. I don't know if that's that. Whoops, wrong way. I don't know if that's that drill that I'm seeing or, or what. There's a big hook there. And then there's some, you know, even way over here too. Yeah. Reacting. Not going to go the right way, not going ahead, which would be you know, over in here somewhere. At first, I thought that's a shoe print. I'm I'm fairly sure. I I'm not a hundred percent positive, but I looked at the bottom of those Nikes and the treads, and then I looked at that, and I I believed it was a shoe print. I could be wrong. See, I, that was my first reaction too, but I don't think it is because I don't know why she would have put the extension cord and things like that over top of it, that area. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to, cover the area you would cover it with um i mean as we all know she had a gazillion boxes and tubs and and stuff like that to cover something up with but i don't know i think you know, that that's... i think that most of those areas were in such disarray like honestly throwing a drill and extension cord over it would be less obvious than throwing like a piece of cardboard or a carpet scrap, but that, I don't know. It, it could be, but I just, I, I don't see the, I don't see the, the, um, the same, tread is what I see on the bottom of that shoe with, you know, cause there should be gaps, you know, where the actual tread hits the floor, you know, there would be 
Maybe if that extension cord wasn't in the way, but I mean, you know, there's a, a little spot of it here and a spot of yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, and, it's. And what if they were? I mean, there was a lot of blood. It got like all the way to the bottom of our shoe too. Yeah. Yeah. That's so gonna squish out. Yeah. Um. Actually, other than that one if that is what it is and the one on the on the uh, side step on the vehicle i'm stunned that's all that the only shoe prints they found yeah with as much blood that they found under that on them on the bottom of them shoes mm -hmm. that's the door going in from the garage going into the house Or, um, well, going into the laundry room. And as you'll see, there's no. blood on, there's blood you know, on the on the floor in the laundry room. Cause she walked in there and took off her shoes and then she thought she cleaned it up. And that's what it looks like with, without it. Is that a phone laying there? No, I think that's a, a phone case. I thought, well, let me look, hold on. Zoom right in. It looks like at least a case. It is a case because you can see where yeah. Oh. I didn't notice that before. I didn't either until just now. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, with the naked eye, you wouldn't give it a second look. But with Blue Star, bam. And it actually, you know, it's actually all the way back through here in the laundry room. And then we get into boxes and suitcases and Patio furniture, outside, cushions, outside furniture stuff. Um, I still haven't seen my Amazon box that I've been looking for. Yeah. <laughs> and that's obviously the master bedroom. And Amy picked up on this. I totally missed it when I first went through them. And it's just really creepy. Here, I'm going to take that this, something off real quick. So if you're looking at the, the grayish dresser, um, next to the teddy bear, there's a black item. And then there's... There's a picture frame, and then there's a closer view. Plus, her half her half consumed Starbucks in front of the TV. But look who's in the picture, and look where the gun's at. And we also talked about what responsible gun owners with children in the house leave a gun out like that, loaded or unloaded. Don't know. That's why kids are get, are killing people, mm -hmm. bikes, killing themselves every day now. Every day, you, you, I can find an article somewhere where a toddler got a hold of a gun, 
shoots himself, herself, or somebody else because it was just lying around. Yep. But the and night, the night the, um, on the 27th, you know, the cop walked right by this because he didn't even turn the light on in the bedroom. He walked mm -hmm. right by this. Um, <sighs> so I'm not going to go over a million pics of, of the gun. I mean, we know it's what she used. I can hear your birdie birds chirping, Ains. I know. You know, I, I, I like to put, you know, I like to pretend I'm Snow White out here. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing in chat? Is everybody doing all right? Yeah. Kathy, I didn't want to interrupt before. Um, Kathy had a migraine and had to go. She sent me a text, but I, I got to see it really quickly because. I couldn't get over to that area while I was online with you, but um, everything's good. Except for her having a headache. That's not good. I didn't mean it like that. We hope she feels better soon. Migraines stink. I've never had one, but my stepdad used to get them. I'm fortunate. I, the only time I ever got a headache was after I'd been drinking. I thought you were going to say when you were married. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we're getting into some blood specks on the wall. And, uh, you know, that's the... Here, I'm going to take that down. Hold on. That's the big stain. There you go. You know, and, you know, like me and Amy were talking about, and I, guys, I wish there was a way that I could present that timeline to you. If you all remember the timeline during the trial, and I, I know I was blown away by it. And that's looking at it through the court camera and listening to it, you know, through the court microphone. And I was foaming at the mouth because I wanted to see it. And I'm telling you, man, it is so slick. It is so slick. But it would just be such a royal pain in the butt to chop it all up and to try to present it on here. I mean, it would just. Well, we just it. haven't. We just haven't found a way to do it yet. I mean, we're, yeah, we're we're st we're kicking things around, but I just haven't come up with a way yet to to do it. Um, but I'm telling you, man, it 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 is slick. And that's that same corner with the blue star more blue star and now they've cut the cut the rug up and you can see the stain under the rug Ames I don't know how I come up with telling you I got a, a about 90 pictures because this says I'm on 130 right now <laughs> um it's probably because a lot of the files had like four or five pictures attached to them. This one is really, really telling. So now they've pulled up the the top of the carpet padding has like a like it's black and smooth, and then the bottom is kind of like a like a padding fiber mix or whatever. And you see the big blood stain, but then you see that it's all the way down on the subfloor. It takes a lot, a lot of blood to do that. Um, and this is how right here is how they knew that no 
body could survive that amount of blood loss. And they were not looking for a live person. Right. And I could give you context for that. Like, um, like uh, I don't want Eric to have a nine hour life, but I can say it in less than a minute. There was a time where people were talking about rewards and billboards and wanting to contribute. And it was like, just contribute to the family fund at the church, just contribute to the family fund at the church. And that's all, you know, and nobody was spending money on that stuff and nobody can understand why. And the, the reason being is because very, very early on, they found this stain and they determined that nobody could survive these injuries. And so they, they, there was no point in having a billboard for a missing child. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad you actually said that because I didn't even finish or didn't even get to what I was going with earlier about um, the, you know, with that amount of blood. I mean, you can even see it on the mattress. Mm -hmm. I mean, the mattress is, you know. It's, it's going um, all the way through a mattress and leaking through on the floor. So if you, you know. And I do apologize to everybody in chat. I meant to put that warning up before we started the live that they're, you know, they're, even though it was shown on live TV, but when you're getting to see it in HD, it's a little different. I did, I do apologize to anybody for not getting that uh, i meant to pin that message up that there, there will be potential graphic content so apologies for that and there's a lot of these a lot of the pictures are you know just these brown bags um yeah i mean there's, and they they sent the case photos out they sent them just like they took them. So they take the picture of the thing and then they show the evidence bag, how it's packaged, the label, everything. Now that's where they cut out the carpet padding. That's where they cut out the carpet and the pad and, you know, and they marked where there's potential blood. I mean, a lot of it's you know, common sense and a lot of it is multiple pictures of not exactly the same thing um well it's just proof for that there's chain of custody that it was packaged correctly you'll see that anything that has potential human dna is marked a biohazard um that it's taped up properly that they were gloved And there's a, there's a good view for what you were talking about the other night, Ames, about with Al's name on it. Yeah, he, he made these, um, these little cardboard things. And the blue one, I believe, so I believe these are like cardboard kits. Like sometimes they sell them at Target and um, in places like that. But whether the the blue one that kind of looks like a house i i for some reason he took a label with his dad's name on it and stuck it on there and i i only say that because if you scoot over to the red one um you can tell that these are like some of them are like pre pre-scored and folded you yeah. can see yeah you know, ew. So that's stuck on like as a, an afterthought, like he was, he wanted his dad's name on it. Probably really sad. Uh, on the windowsill. Yeah, you can see a little, well, you see the, 
the scuff there and then you can see a little bit of red down in here where she she obviously cleaned but didn't get it all and then of course you know we all know with the plug-in she cleaned the outside of the outlet cover but she didn't get to clean on the inside Uh, the outlet cover in that picture. Uh, you can see the blood on the side of the outlet on that picture. Yeah, yeah. So if you look below the two copper prongs on the upper outlet, like look down below and you'll see where it it, it caused a ring around. There you go. See it going all the way around it. Yep, it seeped in. And, and you can see specks. Mm hmm. These specks of it. But you know, look, they have textured walls. I have textured walls. She did a good job cleaning. Yes, she really did. She textured really did. walls are hard. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy, for the burgers. Thank you so much. Yeah, she, she, um, she really did. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, she had everybody fooled for a few hours. Yeah. But not, you know, not much more than that because, you know, after after reading that timeline and saying it with my own eyes. Well, there were so many. Were, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I interrupted you. I was just going to say there's there's things that weren't necessarily evident to the police right away. I believe that Al was a catalyst in pointing the finger at Letitia because he, so Al, so she kills Gannon. Um, Gannon's reported as a runaway. The cops come to the house. Al comes back the next day. They have the interview at Starbucks, the initial interview with Letitia Al, another officer, and Detective Bethel, and Al immediately goes and looks for Letitia's car. She's she's picked him up in the rental car at the airport and told him that she left her Tiguan outside of the elementary school, and he makes the point to say, I drove all around the elementary school. The car isn't there. There was already mistrust in this relationship. There was already reason for him to believe that she was capable of harming one of his children. It was mistrust and then maybe secondary. I'm not saying that he knew that she did bad things to the kids. I just want you guys to think that, you know, Gannon had a lot of animosity towards Letitia and that how did not believe her or had doubt in his mind about where the Tiguan was or why she picked him up in a rental car. So he went to look for it and couldn't find it. And then that led him to believe, well, if she lied to me about this, she's not telling the truth about what happened. And that's what really, I believe, puts this, starts everything in motion looking at her i mean the cops always start from the inside and she was the only she was the only adult home she was the person in charge when this happened so and he makes sure she knows that too right right it's really interesting too because when you when you play the 911 call they're like so who was the last person to, to be with them and she's like um i guess maybe <laughs> like she like it's now occurring to her you know like oh fraggles i'm gonna have to create a gordo and this guy and that guy and a pregnant lady and bicycle man and yeah i mean it's not like 
there's so much of it that's really well thought out. And then there's parts where it's just not. And what cripples her, I think, is the mistrust in her relationship with Al because he is immediately on to her. Yeah, uh, they, they, they play along with her BS, in my opinion. I don't know why they played along as long as they did. Um, it should have never taken almost five weeks to put her in cuffs, but that's Monday morning, Monday morning quarterback. Yeah. Um, no, that's the but, vinegar she used to clean. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the, the vinegar that is specifically mentioned. But see, I thought she had Harley buy that. I don't know why. <clears throat> I don't know why, but I thought there were way more cleaning supplies bought than just the arm and hammer and trash bags. Yeah. So I think there was a lot of confusion on social media and everywhere else because I believe that the vinegar was on the receipt too. And then later it came out that the vinegar was from the house. The scrub brushes are from the house. Like, um, like, okay. So this picture right here, the one you're showing right now in the kitchen under the cabinets. I'm, I'm getting her lined up for you. <laughs> okay. Blowing it up so people can, can see it. Okay. So, Here's how things like the vinegar get thrown out of, you know, thrown out or whatever. Because I also remember like hearing like Harley bought paper towels. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you know, I can't say this definitively. I can only tell you what I heard and what was mentioned to me way back in 2020. And not just me. The, the the channel that I was a part of and, and all of that, okay? So, so just so nobody thinks it's just Amy exclusively uh, to cover myself because I don't want to take credit for something. But it, it information that was passed to us. So we were told at one point that they searched the house so thoroughly that they checked under the kitchen sink thinking that Gannon was under there. They weren't looking under the kitchen sink uh for gannon they this is what this is where that story comes from with the paper towels out and everything so how so how anybody knew that i don't know if um if um yeah i i don't even know why she would ask her to buy trash bag i mean look at the trash bags yeah but and you here's, know, here's arm and hammer yeah. Now that doesn't mean that's, you know, I don't mean I'm, that's the powder. I don't think that's what she bought, was it? No, she bought carpet deodorizer or like uh, carpet powder that you vacuum up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have to forgive me. I'm a dude. I don't know, you know, cleaning supplies. You know. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, I can tell you that the pink one and down in the bottom left and then the purple one on uh, is on top of a Swiffer wet, like uh, those wet pads for a Swiffer. But, and then the purple one, those are method brand cleaners. Cause I use those. Like I, I like cleaning products. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Like some people worry about their, like their, your wife's going out and buying like shoes and I like come home and I'm like, I got the pink stuff and I got some ice cream. It's going to be a party. Yeah. Well, Doc does my dishes for me. So. Uh, <laughs> well, my boxer baby does mine too. I'm <laughs> putting them in the dishwasher and she's licking them and it's like, ugh. Smoke and it airlift smoke and odor eliminator. They zoomed in on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kathy, you're funny. See, I'm not alone. 
Yvette is like that too. <laughs> yeah, you gotta wonder, like uh, Danny Lyon this says, how does she even get to the Swiffers? Like, I don't know. I don't think she uses them, to be honest. But um, all of her closets and stuff look like this. Yeah. Where yeah. her brother got the OCD thing, I don't know, because that was not a temporary. When you look at everything else in the house, it's not a temporary thing. Like, this doesn't. This doesn't just happen. Oh, there's the one she had to hardly get right there. The extra strength. Powder deodorizer, the army. Carpet, carpet over eliminator, yeah. But that's not, that's not that one, is it? No, that's regular baking soda. Not to say he didn't utilize it, but yeah, right on Josephine. I 100% I agree with you, and I've said that too. The environment around her is a reflection of what is going on mentally. And something that I noticed in that body cam, too, and it's absolutely nothing, is how his drawers, I noticed this in the body cam. I didn't know it was in these photos until just now. But I don't, <laughs> who opens their drawers like that? Um, I mean, what, what would be the reasoning behind? <clears throat> I have little kids and I will tell you, unless you supervise them putting their clothes in their drawers and, and I mean, not all kids, but at least mine, if I don't like watch them put their clothes in their drawer and I don't go in there, like afterwards, they don't close them. They close them with stuff hanging out. They don't like it. That's, that's kind of like to me normal, but, um, I mean, I'll tell you, <laughs> one of my kids is so sneaky that they will be putting their clothes away and they will pick up the neatly folded ones on the top, shove all the new clothes underneath and then smash down the nicely folded ones so it looks like <laughs> a folder. It, that's just like kids. It's what they do. Like you will fold towels all nice and ask them to walk two feet to the like linen closet and they'll shove them in there and shove the door and the towel will be falling out. Like you just, and, and you just like shake your head. Like what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Um, now you'll see, I'm, I, I'm not going to guess where it's coming up at, but you'll see in one of these pictures, there's actually blood. It's either on this handle or the handle to his closet but I don't remember which one. It's either on that one over here or on this <laughs> handle. I believe it's the door to the room. Um, and then we get into, you know, you start, they start marking all of the blood splatter, splatter and spray and everything else that was going on. Um, I'm not going to spend a whole big bunch of time on these because there, there's like 30 or 40 pictures of these small, you know, that's huge. Mm -hmm. that, that right there is huge compared to. Yeah. But again, textured on, walls, you know, the other day, like, cause I, every wall in my house has textured walls. There are pain if you want them repainted. They're a pain to clean. Um, you have to clean them more than regular walls because of all those little crevices and everything. One of my kids turned on the blender the other day without the top on. 
I'm, I'm telling you it was for like a second, but it's been four days and I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and I'm still finding stuff on my wall. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, it's, I'm, she did, I'm, that's why she, she did a really good job. I mean, she might've missed some big spots, but in the time that she had to clean that up and the condition, like the, I don't want to say condition, but the type of wall that is, I mean, I'm impressed because I'm still finding ground up strawberry and banana on my wall. Well, uh, when I said that one was huge, I mean, think of it. And then here's what they're pointing out on this one. I mean, it's ah. not much bigger than the end of an ink pen. Yeah. You know, the, the, the end that you're right with. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, so if you're just I, standing there and you're looking for a runaway and there's no and they testified to it. There was no odors. There was you no know, nothing smelled of bleach. You know nothing. Nothing seemed. You know nothing to put up any red flags. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> Savage Barbie. <laughs> You know, that's a pretty good size one there. Yep. Did you want me to take that off? What? The little gray watermark in the middle. Uh, just whenever you can, if you want, but whenever mine's not up. Okay. I mean, I, it, you know, it's too expensive to, you know, to give it away. Oh, no, I totally agree. Yeah, they found. And, and I know, you know, some like the people. Tip of a pen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. that, and I, you know. I'm guessing I, with like, I know they're called textured, but with pitted walls, you would never absolutely get them clean. Not unless you paint it over them. Yeah, I don't, have, I don't. I don't think you could. I, kills you know. paint first. She didn't have but, time to do that. She probably thought about it. Yeah, I mean, there's you know, there's this one, and it's kind of up in one of the grooves that's in the wall that. But can you imagine, you know, when, when, when they hit it with the, the Blue Star or Luminol or whatever, you know, however you want to refer to it, think about what that wall looked like before she cleaned it. Let, um, that, rattle, let that rattle around in your head for a few seconds. Yeah. We're, we're seeing after she cleaned it. Well, and it was enough to um, drip down on the baseboards, too. She missed the top of the baseboard, and you can see where it was dripping down. It, it's not – I mean, I, I can't be 100%, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that what you see on the baseboard is not splatter on the baseboard. It was running down the wall. Oh, yeah, there is. It, there there you well, he should be coming up on it if I didn't cut it out. Hopefully, I way way earlier that you showed, but you can see where it's like trippy marks. Like it's the it's the difference between being sp sprayed there as opposed to running down the wall. Yeah, yeah. See in the corners, she got. I yeah, with those textured walls, you never get all of that off ever. And down along. Down along with the tack strip, you'll even see. I hope down along in here, you'll even see it where you know it's running along. The yeah, tack, it the tack it, strip. It pulled there because it was because it was running down the walls. Yeah.
the and you know as I was you know going through them the other day when I finally had gotten settled down and could focus and went back through everything you know I was just like wow mm-hmm. again I mean it like you, you as you were following this case you were putting this story together and you were you, you're like oh I think it's a stepmom and blah 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 and you know all these searches and um everything else and then you know we find out we see these photos or whatever and find out now that within like 72 hours they knew that he was dead oh they they was they was all over it and here's where you're talking about on the baseboard Mm -hmm. you can see it literally running down running down yeah, I don't even I think about what it looked like before it was cleaned up. And she's trying to say that Gannon picked blisters that bled yeah. and rubbed well, his hand on the wall. Well, yeah, it was it was the blisters from where it was burnt, and then later on it was the blisters and he was picking his fingers. Yeah. Um, but right here, and I think we get a better picture of it coming up, but you'll see on this tax strip, you can see this whole thing had blood on top of it. This Mm -hmm. whole strip starting at about right there at that W in Hawk, all the way down. And you see it in the groove. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, I guess we should say this. It may have been running because of the cleaning supplies. It could have, yeah. I just, you know, to to cover ourselves it it's could. very possible very possible um but at any rate it doesn't really matter we're like i said we're we're looking at the walls after she cleaned them mm-hmm. i just absolutely can't imagine and, and the carpet, like yeah the carpet's been removed so part of that is gonna have carpet and carping padding on top of it so it's gone below that and it, you also have to remember too that there was so much blood that it the blood was on top of the mattress and seeped through the mattress and dripped onto the floor yeah yeah I think that's the one you were specifically talking about earlier. And is that yeah, one? Yeah, that one, and then there's another one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna spend. Oh, thank you, Sarah, for the. Um, um, but right on, Josephine. Donation. Good. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're fine. No, right on, Josephine. I was going to say that before, too. She says, you know, there is such thing as a blood blister, but let me be clear, it would never, ever do what we were seeing. Yeah, and blood blisters are different than, like, burn blisters. Burn blisters for your uh, your dermis to protect itself creates that barrier, that that water, it, not blood, when you burn. Um, so, yeah, it, it didn't make any sense. Now, this is the, the defect that's in the screen in his window. Can, or maybe not defect, maybe, are they talking about this as potential blood? Because I'm, I never have been able 
to figure out exactly what they're pointing out here. I, I don't know what they're pointing out there either. There's about four photos in this that I don't understand what we are looking at. And I have blown them up. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, the next thing coming up is the white bed sheet with blue shark print and a tear in the in the fabric. And that flickering, guys, that's, I don't, it doesn't matter what computer I use. Adobe just don't like me. It just absolutely doesn't like me. Also, it's important to understand that these, um, a lot of these exhibits, they are you can put yours up there now Amy, because mine's gone okay they are labeled with a number and then a basic description and sometimes we just don't know exactly what they're taking pictures of So apparently that little area right there, they think could be potentially a blood spot. Thank you, Amy, Drake. Thank you so much. Um, and there's, you know, there's other spots on it too that they have circle. Yeah, like I said, a lot of these, like they're they're just not real specific on what it is. I mean, obviously we can see that it's circled, um, but I mean, I could. It wouldn't take me but a hot second to tell you exactly what it says because Eric, hold on a second. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. What's up? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. <clears throat> what exhibit number was that? Does anybody remember off the top of your head? Or I can scroll back up real quick. It'll take me about a hot second. And I, I know guys that I said no, no more three and four hour and five hour lives, but I've got to get this stuff done because I've got stuff coming this week. If I don't get this done, It's not it's not gonna get done and tonight was gonna be is gonna be the end of it for for this for this one. Um this is the white white bed sheet with blue shark print 
a tear in the fabric received from the laundry basket in the closet of the basement bedroom on February the 13th of 2020. Okay. So the tear is potentially from the sharp object that she used to stab. Right. Right. Which, you know, you and I talked about it the other night. It was just odd to me that she comes flying down those steps to to talk to that cop and to point out the box cover, um, which I still haven't seen. Absolutely. And the other thing that it's, it's, you know, I'm not saying anything groundbreaking or earth shattering, but I think anybody that watches true crime, we know that stabbing is extremely personal and it's rage. Right. And so, um, you know, we, we later on have the Google searches a week prior to this, a week prior, um, that let us know that this was something she had thought about way before she did it. And um, she she just, she hated Gannon. She hated him. Yeah. yeah. Not, not just Landon, <laughs> not Giselle, Gannon. Lit up like a Christmas tree there, ain't it? Janet says, I listened to the Starbucks audio again today. Al mentioned that his mother had been visiting just prior. His mom left on Saturday. He left on Sunday. What happened to drive her to the edge? She had time alone in the house. Her and Al were not getting along. And mom, even though mom and Al flew out on different days, they went to the airport together. So she was alone in the house. And also I'll remind you that the kids had been with Landon for Christmas or, or shortly after the kids had only been back from Landon's for like two weeks. Okay. And Gannon did not want to go back and he made it very clear that he did not want to go back. So I, I mean, I hesitate to say this, um, but as a stepmother myself, if children were coming back and like, I mean, I'm nothing like Letitia, but they were so upset about being with their mother. If I had a bad opinion or of their mom or I hated their mom or whatever it was, I mean, that was like a trigger for her too. Cause that would and hurt their feelings. This is the Amazon box. And that's the blood smear. The blood smear on the Amazon box that I still I'm hoping to find out this week to get a bunch of gaps filled in with fingers crossed. We're hoping to get a gap get a bunch of gaps filled in. I mean, clearly you can see the Amazon and then, you know, there's, there's blood on it. And it says on the, on the sheet, it says Amazon box in chair is all it says. And, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll, I have to eat some crow because I misread that. I thought it said in the computer chair in that last live, and that's not what it says. So I've been going over this daggone thing again. Um, since early this morning, going over the videos, going over the pictures, trying to find that that Amazon box, but I just can't find it. 
Um, this is three sets of possible blood swabs tested presumptive positive. Ouch. Oh. You okay? Ooh. Um, I tested presumptive positive blue star collected from the basement living room carpet pillow on north couch and chair rug on January the 29th. So chair rug. Is that the rug that we see? Because this is collected after the body cam, obviously. Is that the rug we see draped over the chair, I wonder? And if the Am when they came back in the house, if the Amazon box wasn't in that chair, maybe? Hmm. Damn I, mean, it, I, wish, I don't know. I wish I wish they would have took a picture of it because I want to call them and say, "Man, you got to tell me it's killing me." Where's the Amazon box at? Right. <laughs> so this is the pink suitcase they found in the minivan that Letitia was driving when they arrested her. Yeah, yeah, and clearly, you know, you can see the blood <laughs> mm -hmm. see that's what we see wrapped around in the very first photo that you that you showed us it's this wrapped around the wrapped around the blanket that's yeah. on his last yeah. wife photo took. Yeah. Is this she, right here? Yep. She had the bedding and the floor of that van in front of the cops. Wow. Mm-hmm. Cause that's what was that's what was throwing me off was this blue and this green yep. that's in that picture right there. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. I probably could have and should have cut the bags out i do apologize for that i'm trying to just sometimes you need them though because you don't know what you're looking at without right. the that corresponds i was doing the same thing this just is a two-tone two-tone blue blanket is what's in that bag and then this is the van that has the the pink suitcase in it down when she was picked up in Myrtle Beach. And the inside of it, I don't know. They find, but. they find um, used prepaid calling cards um, and whatnot in there. But the main thing they were after was that pink suitcase. Right. It's a piece of mail with her name on it. All right, there is what they were after. And, mm -hmm. they, got it. and they, you know. Well, I'm not even sure they were after it. I don't, I'm not even sure they knew that. I mean, maybe they were missing a pink suitcase, but it was a bonus. Well, that was, okay. You'll have to refresh my memory because they got us a, a search warrant for it. She wouldn't, she either wouldn't allow them to open it or get it or something 
Well, um, yeah, she wasn't allowing them to to search anything. That wasn't, yeah, cause anything in the van. They had to have it. Okay. I, I was thinking, it, I, I don't know why, but for some reason I was thinking they had a specific reason to be going after that pink. Um, you remember that that suitcase did not belong to her. It belonged to one of her sisters. It had a luggage tag on it. Yeah. yeah. So it's at this point, it's possible that, you know, they were asking everybody like, are you missing anything? Did you loan anything? And that, that came up too. I don't know how cooperative her family was at this point. All we know as far as family cooperation is that for some reason, the aunt agreed to rent the, um, the first van and then changed her mind and they, and Leticia rented the second van and they transferred the items. Right. Uh, this is the bloody board versus the photograph. Mm -hmm. Now that's not the same board, right? Because I tried to, I tried to match that up. It can't be the same board because they took the picture after. The no, I think, I think, they were, I think, I don't, I don't want to say, cause I don't want to get attacked. I, but I think there were like identical boards in there and like some were missing and then they found the one out on the road and it matched up to the ones that were in the garage. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's almost spot on. I mean, but then Tom says they look like the same board because they have the same stains. It's it's hard for me to to know. But here's the here's the actual board with the blood stains on it, which you can you see through the plastic. But the board, unless. Well, no, they wouldn't take the bloody board back to the house to compare. They would take a, they would take a board from the house to the crime lab and, and to make a comparison photo. I would think would be the, the problem. Mel Mac, is it the, is it the fireworks from my my end? Because they are starting to do them, and I'm inside. But if, it, if it's my feed, I'm sorry, and I'll mute myself. I don't hear anything. Okay. But I didn't I didn't know this picture was in here until just now because yesterday when I seen this picture and I went and looked at the picture of the one they found out on the by the highway. I tried to match them up on um paint 3d and i absolutely could not get those two boards to match up to where actually every... you know what i think this is a picture from the garage when they were uh, yeah i know this i know this one is still framed through the house because remember we saw this thing before and then this is the board that they found. Maybe it's the same board. Maybe this got removed out of the house after the body cam footage. Well, yeah, but they didn't take a picture of this of this until could, after until after the bloody board had been moved out of unless the house. it's a, unless it's a still frame from the video. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. Well, there wasn't. Well, it could be. Could be. I mean. The only reason I say that is because, look, the one on the garage floor, you can see the corner cut off. I think it is the same board. But I don't remember saying anything in the body cam <clears throat> that night. I'll have to go back and look. My 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 brain, play, you know, you in the Amazon box? 
Yeah. <laughs> My brain plays tricks on me too. I'm not perfect. <laughs> so now you now you got me. We'll have to go back and look. I mean, that's why we do this, so we can go back and look. Um this is particle board with stain. Um, these are obviously the ones that light up. Holly Berry says, watch the trial. Well, we did watch the trial. I've watched the trial a couple times now, but it, like if you, and I'm not saying you haven't, but if you followed this from day one, every single day as things built and then the preliminary hearings and things like that, like it all gets jumbled up in your brain sometimes. At least for me, I can only speak for myself. I mean, I, I'm sitting here with a notebook in front of me that I had from 2020. And I go back and look at like what we found out on those days or what I thought on those days or what came out on those days. And, um, I have to rearrange information in my brain and I also have to take out pieces of information that I believed were true back then that I know now aren't. Like I said before, I thought they were searching for a missing child for several days. I had no idea they knew that this child was dead so early on. I had no, I mean, I believed Letitia was guilty. I mean, just by looking at her, which I mean, is that fair? I don't know from her interviews and things like in her behavior on social media, but I kind of, you know, thought in my head, like, what is wrong with the police? Well, they, they were onto her too, but we're, we just found that out like a month ago. So. And. You know, I can I can tell you to Holly. Is that what you said her name is? Mm -hmm. I was covering, literally covering this trial all day, and then the Daybell trial for half the night for almost three months, Holly. So, yeah, yeah. I did I I did miss stuff. Yeah, and we're so, not picking on you. And actually, this case is how Eric and I met each other. all the way back when it was unfolding. Um, anyway, remember back at um, that other picture way back and all we could see was the extension cord. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't figure out what this, what that was. It was a pop can and it has some kind of that white ring in it. And this, whatever this is isn't on top of that extension cord in that other pick either but and then there's you know that's I'm, bubbly bubbly seltzer water okay well i was hoping they would show that but this <laughs> is the budget the budget rental van And that's, this is what we were talking about earlier, guys, the difference in the van. The first one she had, this wasn't there, as you can clearly see in that van. That's the first van. That's, that's the first van. And then this is the second van. And you see the, you know, the partition or whatever you want to call it in between it. You know, they're talking about, people are talking about being in Florida and everything and being horrified that she dumped him off 95 and everything. You remember when they said that she went to Orlando for a couple, so she was going to stay in Orlando longer, but she was in Orlando for a couple of days when all the receipts came out and stuff. The hotel that her and Harley stayed at is literally 20 minutes away from where I live. 
Um, like I think about that sometimes, like if we, I don't know, it's just so crazy to think about. It did have a side entrance. Oh, it did. You're right. And then you'll, you'll get a, I think she put his, well, no, I'm not going to say that because I don't know that. But you'll get to see. That's the prepaid phone cards. The prepaid phone the cards. Toy that was left in the van. Police That's acting on the floor of the van. And you know they they do jump around. <laughs> yeah. They do jump around, and that's after Leticia had had you know worked her magic. Um, I did put out a couple questions to to um, Amy. Just trying to make sense as to why this exhibit and that exhibit and that exhibit and that exhibit. I know why this one did. I know why it was admitted in evidence because right here is the carpet. Mm -hmm. Blood all over it. Mm -hmm. I know why that. But this right here is the main one. I can't, for the life of me, figure out why they took that screen grab off of his body cam. And it's of that tub right there. And it was admitted into evidence. So there has to be something of importance. Right. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, but you and I talked when, um, oh, you're going so fast. Candle um, with parent carpet fibers and sock and wax. So they find the candle outside in the trash and then they put it out like on the sidewalk and take a picture of it. But you and I talked when he's on the body cam, he stands in front of those totes for a very long time and then we talked about why he couldn't, you know, go into them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the actual candle right there. And you'll get a better picture of it. Oh. Wow, was that lightning and thunder? No, uh, that's fireworks. Oh, nice. My dog just flew across the house. <laughs> <laughs> um, so th that's the candle. And like she said, you know, you have the sock in it. And then you see where, you it's, know, it's, when, it's, is... when it's tipped over, you can even see it drying on the outside of the candle. Mm-hmm or thrown or i don't know slapped out of his hand or whatever but whatever happened in that floor i just don't see it i just don't see it but you know i'm only google certified in candles So Deborah says, wasn't there a blood smear on the light green handle of the tote? There might yeah. have been. Yeah, um, there might yeah. have been. I know there was a clear tote that had a blood smear on it. Um, um, yeah, it, it'll be coming up. Um, I 
I know, I know I'm going really quick. That's it's just showing the that piece of carpet that she cut up. Um, carpet rug with possible blood collected from base of the stairs in the garage. Tested presumptive positive with Blue Star. Let's see if that's the one below it or if that's above it. Yeah, because they're not consistent with that either, guys. When these photos were sent out, sometimes the evidence bag is before the exhibit. And sometimes it's after. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes they're kind enough to mark the picture with the exhibit and sometimes they're not. That obviously isn't carpet. So we'll go back up here and you can take a because this was at the the base of the steps at the, in the basement that right there and that's what they're that's what they're describing as possible blood I'm hurrying, guys. I know. Uh, I know that. I'm over the what I said I was going to do, but like I said, if I don't get this done tonight, it's not going to get done. That's just all there is to it. And. Now you're going to get to see the mattress, and that's you know, it's just I mean, look at that mattress. Mm A little oh okay there's the mirror there's the blood on the door on the door handle mm -hmm. and you can tell it's the entrance to the room because it has the door stop or stop yep and you know what that that's from the body cam footage yep because look the room's not the, the light's not on they have the fun. Well, if you click, oh, sugar. <laughs> if you if you click back one photo, the the other one that you showed with the door stop, you can tell it is because that's the flashlight he uses. Because it's pointing down on the doorknob and then it's shining on the door stop. I think I'm deaf in one ear. It's Al's long rifle. And there's some more guns in the closet. You know what I am surprised at that's not in here? Is no pictures of any medicine cabinet or anything looking for pain pills. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's because of I mean, maybe they were right down. Put your watermark up, please. It's there. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's okay. This is Harley's um, letter. Yeah, this is Harley's prop signed proffer letter. Um, it just says, R.E. Harley Hunt proffer regarding the investigation of the murder of Gannon Stout. Dear Ms. Hunt, you have expressed an interest in talking with our office and or government investigators concerning your participation and the participation of others in criminal conduct 
related to the above referenced matter, while at the same time protecting certain legal rights. This process is sometimes called making a proffer. Our office is willing to proceed with this proffer on the following terms and conditions. One, your statements and the information you provide to the government must be truthful, accurate, candid, and complete. By signing this agreement, you agree not to make any false or misleading statement, either directly or by omission. No statement that you make to our office and or government investigators during this process will be used against you in any criminal prosecution except as follows. I don't know why that is flickering so bad. Um, any statement you make may be used against you both directly or deriv derivatively in any prosecution for perjury, false statement, or obstruction of justice, or any conspiracy, scheme, or other concerted action or effort to commit or attempt to commit the same. B, any statement you make may be used against you derivatively in any criminal prosecution or other proceeding for any purpose in terms of leads, information or sources of information by signing this agreement you specifically waive all future objection and argument that any evidence against you in any proceeding is this um thank you chloe for becoming a member thank you for becoming a member of my coffee app um for any purpose in terms of leads, information, or sources of information. By signing this agreement, you specifically waive all future objection and argument that any evidence against you in any proceeding is the fruit or product of derived from or otherwise tainted by any statement you make or any information you provide during this process. C. Any statement you make may be used against you for cross-examination or impeachment in the event that future testimony at any hearing or trial is inconsistent with your proffer. Three, the government makes no other promises or representation, and there are no other, there are no other terms or conditions expressed or implied concerning your proffer or this matter being investigated and prosecuted. You expressly understand that this agreement does not protect or immunize you from prosecution concerning this or any other matter and does not require or commit the government to grant you such protection. Any such protection or immunity will only be given, if at all, by a further written agreement signed by my office. If you understand and agree to these terms, please execute this agreement below Sincerely, Dave Young, Senior Deputy DA, and it was signed by Harley Hunt on August the 17th of 2022. We were really surprised that that letter was included in this. Um, was not, I mean, absolutely was not expected. No. Absolutely stunned. Um, and then we're, they got, this is the pink suitcase. And they're, they actually start taking everything out of it. So just a heads up, you know, it's not terribly graphic or anything, but you, I mean, this is what you're going to see. Come here. It's okay. Mommy's here. Hey, mommy's here. Mommy's right here. Uh. Let's blow that up. I can't 
see what that says. Don't get old, y'all. Don't get old, man. Mm -hmm. It says, oh, you just switched it. Well, I'm just trying to scroll it up to where I can see it because I blew it up. And then every time I blow it up, it moves it to the right out of my screen. So I got to blow it up and then go down and. Okay, now you can stop scrolling, please. There you go. Um, and found. It's the two suitcase. It's the two toned blue blanket. Oh. In yeah. suitcase removed from. Um, item. T oh, you keep moving it. Thank you, Donna, for becoming a member and. Thank you, Savage. Thank you so much for the burgers. Thank you. So thank you guys so much. Removed from suitcase item two. Two tall blue blanket removed from, oh my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're on your own. Sorry. That's okay. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to, everything else they took out of it and get away from these bags. Yeah. No, it's just, I, mean, is, I don't know if you can, if, if you're looking at StreamYard or if you're looking at, I yeah, mean, I'm if, looking at StreamYard. Okay. Cause it loads like half the picture sometimes. Right. Right. If, and that's because I'm, when I go real quick, but when I stop the full picture comes up, like right now you can see, where it says two tone blue blanket. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm laughing at Brooklyn. I don't know what you're talking about, but she says, I'm going to have, my kids are going to have to thug it out. It's character building. I'm off, I'm online or I'm offline. I said that to my husband a couple months ago because he walked in the house and my kids were fighting. And I said, they've been doing it all day. I said, I've just decided it's the Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. Uh, you know, I was like, one day they're going to learn that somebody's stronger than the other. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm tired of breaking it up. Um, you know what? Let me do something here real quick. Well, no. Some of them, there are duplicates, and then there's not. So I thought maybe I'd made a mistake and done it, but I didn't. There's a whole bunch of other pictures in here. So, again, I apologize, guys. I know it's long, but I have to get this done tonight. And these are, these are, this is a new angle from looking into the garage. And that's where they, that's that rug where they found uh, a little bit of blood there. Um, so that garage actually, it, it leads up into the laundry room. And here's the U.S. backpack down here. Mm -hmm. And if I remember right, when they move that backpack, don't they don't does the blue star hit somewhere over in here too? I think so. That's why I said I think she threw like I, the, I think sometimes there's a lot of thought in the in the cleaning and stuff. Um, I always wondered what. What is that about? Yeah, because we, we already know it's on these boards. 
Right. We know it's on those boards. But what's in the Tupperware containers? I think that's where people have brought food <laughs> over. I think neighbors brought food over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would be my guess. I mean, I don't know that, but is that the same? That's not the same. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, because it's sitting right in front of whatever the heck that is. I don't know what that is either. But yeah, all this, all this was lit up as you guys clearly remember. I don't think she hit him in the garage of that. I think she, um, she um, dragged him to the garage into the car. That's that rug that's at the base of the steps with the blue star, and then they jump back to the pink suitcase and Close. I don't really think the contents mean all that much but you know it's the blood stains with the exception of that blanket that was in there right that's how the the blood stains was transferred onto it that's mostly Harley stuff. If you look, that's hard. The back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can see flip flops. And... Well, that's a lot of stuff to come out of that bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Do you have any idea what that is, Anna? Uh, uh, Inf infusion something SS or 55. I don't know. Um, it's a thin dark five. It, I think that. I don't know. Let me Google something really quick. Kimmy B is asking if anybody else doesn't agree that that is the blanket we see in the um, in the bottom of the van. It's a uh, on the evidence a, list. It says a photo. Bag. Mission Darkness is a Faraday bag. Oh. That evidence. For phones, device shielding for law enforcement. I just looked it up. Wow. It says Mission Darkness non-window Faraday bag for phones slash device shielding for law enforcement and military, executive privacy, travel and data security, anti-hacking, anti-tracking, anti-spying assurance. So she was putting her phone in there. She was gangster, wasn't she? She was gay. I didn't even know they made such thing as that. I knew I knew they did for like uh, credit cards and stuff, but um, I didn't. I how much one of them cost you? Twenty six bucks on Amazon. Twenty five dollars, two for forty eight, four for ninety two. You can get one delivered in seven hours and thirty nine minutes. <laughs> <laughs> And that's, this is her phone and it's blurry and it says it's people blowing her phone up after she's been arrested, including crime online, which we all know who that was. Yep. And it wasn't the other one, like the Fox station or something. 
uh, People Magazine. She's, oh, that's right. Me. People Magazine. We're Christine, Christine with People, are you available to talk? And then another one says, call me. And then one that says, maybe Victoria Yanguba says, I hate you with every fiber of my being for this. You deserve nothing but the worst. That innocent baby didn't deserve any bit of this. You're extremely evil. I hope they do to you. And then it cuts off. Yeah. I think that I think that's um, Aunt Victoria. Yeah, yeah, it is. I will say this, and I ask Amy about it because in the text messages between her and Al. It says boyfriend, and on hers, her phone, it says maybe Monica. On his phone. I absolutely have no clue what that's all about. Yeah, I think that she programmed in Al before she married him, and it, she just didn't change it. But I, I told you the other night, it's possible that she had other social media profiles pulling from that because I have a friend that like hers does that every once in a while because she doesn't use her real name on social media so sometimes it will say like I have her programmed in under her real name and then every once in a while I'll get like maybe so and so I I, I just I've never ever heard of that but I am kind of a recluse huh. they're laughing about see reports that you're arrested please confirm <laughs> yeah yeah okay Cynthia Sweezy I hope I said your name correctly she said how did Letitia make it to Florida from Colorado without being followed especially by the FBI we i think we're going to talk about that in a separate live we we were kind of brainstorming or eric i can't speak for his channel but eric and i were brainstorming and he might talk about it on another live because that's a very good point and it was something that the two of us were hashing out last we week. were brainstorming it mm -hmm. and have been brainstorming it for and we have some good ways to like present it and like ask the question and try to figure it out together, I guess. Yeah. But again, um, like I said, I've got more coming. And it's okay, here. To be this is perfect. Bumbling D. Sometimes people say things so much better than I can that I can say. Apple does it. If they can find a name online, attach the phone number or on a text in your phone or email, etc. So yeah, that's how it happens with my friend because she doesn't use her real name in some other situations because she's, uh, she has some notoriety, like, you know, so she, she uses like a, almost like a pen name. So even though let's say she's in my phone is Sally Smith, if her name is, you know, Sally Applejacks on a book cover, um, it'll come up like maybe Sally Applejacks on my phone every time she texts or call me. That's how it happens. It, it pulls from, you know, metadata. Or not metadata, like your digital footprint attached to your phone number. Yeah. So I, I'll, in, in, in reverse, I can tell you that there's somebody that always used an online name and that's how I knew them. And um, one day it came up on my phone with their real name. So. That made an oopsies. 
Well, I mean, I, I told him, I was like, Hey, you, you might, I mean, this was like two years ago, but I was like, when this really started to be a thing two or three years ago, I remember saying like, Hey, if you're texting other people, you might want to be careful because, and I screenshot it. And I was like, this came up on my phone today. And they were like, whoops. <laughs> I was like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't care because I get it, you know, but. Uh, yeah, this is, um, this is her, her, um, fake polygraph notes. Yeah. Her, her fake polygraph.com. Yeah, and in the case involving missing child, getting out, do you intend on telling the truth? In the case of your stepson, Gannon, did you inflict harm on him in any way? Did you accidentally hurt him in a physical way? Did you murder your stepson? Do you, did you do you know personally who is involved with your stepson, stepson disappearance? And I just listened to the audio today, and that is when al first presented these questions to him to her she didn't like the way that he was presenting them to her because they have to be presented in a yes or no way um and when he asked he his second question to her was um were you the last person to see gannon were you the last person to see Gannon? And I forget what her response was. And then he says, well, let me ask it this way. And then they start going back, bickering back and forth about it's yes and no questions only. Um, hmm. So, yeah. Uh, um, You know, it's, you know, to all you experts out there who already know all this, I mean, God bless you. Um, um, it, I learn better when I can physically see it and I can read it rather, rather than listening to it being told from, you know, oh, from somebody oh. else. I can, yeah, I can get the bombshell. Once you, see it, it. once you see um, it with the barcode on it and everything else and the description underneath and what have you, then you know for absolute that that's a fact in this case. And it was entered as a fact in this case. Yeah. I, I mean, that's what it is for me. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Eric, I'm laughing because there's a conversation going on in, in chat. Um, Kimmy B says at Death Angel, oh my God, I guess I haven't been very on very much lately i'm really out of the loop because death angels always writes gtsy and kimmy b thought it was gutsy and i did too like up until a couple of weeks ago like, oh, good to see you so don't feel bad i thought she asked why you call me gutsy all the time so I yeah that's good. that's um ganon's comb And then these are the, the brushes that they found in the dishwasher. Um, I probably didn't need to do that because I thought, yeah, I was going to say the very next picture is a, is a close up. Um, let's see, yeah, it's exhibit 187. Let me check and see what. And then they show of the. They actually take those dishwashing brushes, and they take what looks like a sharpie, and they circle where they can see blood on them. She used them to clean the carpet, apparently. So they find blood and carpet vipers on them. Yeah, she might have used them on the wall too, but they definitely mentioned that they find carpet fibers in the brush too. See, so they get they get up close, real close shots of. Them. Interesting that there's also scissors in there. Yeah, 
right? Two pairs of scissors. Two pairs. Yep. And I don't know if she's lost it yet or not, but it looks awful dirty. I'm, I'm assuming she had by then. Because they never did find the blunt force object or the knife or whatever it was she used. Right. Either they didn't um, or they couldn't determine. Right. <coughs> Sorry. Um, let's see here. What we got coming up next? Oh, you grab brushes. You'll see where they circled. Oh, they'll turn them over and they'll start showing where they find stuff. Yeah, like right there, you see that one, guys? There is, there is a pretty good delay this, between StreamYard and on the cell phone, because it just now showed up on my cell phone. But you can see, you, you see the circle there? I mean, I don't know what all of that means. One one five four two five four thirty MC double oh two six seven dash or backslash, you know. I don't know what that means. Um a Brillo scrub brush. Blue and white scrub brush. That's the one we just looked at. I think it was blue and white one. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. And that's, you can see where they've got it. LMG, and I'm wanting to say positive. Would that be a, a good guess or bad guess? What does LMG stand for? I had my phone on mute. I don't know what LMG would stand for. I was wondering where you went. <laughs> Sorry. No, it was, I mean, there's like literally bursts of fireworks and I had muted my phone. Um, scrub brush with possible hair and carpet fiber. And I should have cut all these bags out. Yeah, right there's the hair, or mm -hmm. possible hair. You can see it. I don't know what the LMG stands for. But it's definitely positive because that says LMG negative.
I think. I could be dead wrong, but I mean, that's what it looks like to me. That clearly says negative and that says positive. I don't know, is, is there, a, is that an acronym for luminol? I, I'm, I'm looking as you're talking. Uh, this is the empty Heinz vinegar bottle. Not much to see there. I mean, we all know what a vinegar bottle looks like, whether it's full or empty. Oh, here we go. Leucal malachite green presumptive test for blood. Cool. Oh, so, learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. L positive right yep. there on the vinegar bottle. Leuco malignant green, abbreviated LMG, is a popular blood reagent. That's pretty cool. Thank mm -hmm. you for looking that up. Yeah, no problem. It says they don't use it much anymore because the reagent is a carcinogen. It said they kind of stopped using it in the 1990s, but they still do use it in some jurisdictions. But um, it's uh, it, it acts like luminol. It, it, grow, it glows green. Okay, we're coming up on his, his switch. Mm-hmm. And when I was watching it during the trial, because, you know, I don't have kids and it was back in the mid nineties was the last time that I was, I had my two step boys, but back then, you know, that wasn't the thing. So when it was talking about the switch during the trial in the beginning, I was absolutely clueless as what they were talking about. I thought they was talking about a switch from off a tree. No, this the switch is cool because you can play it on a console and then you can take it with you. So it's kind of like, remember the old Nintendos that you held? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that, but you can use it on a console too. Yeah, I I, I, I get it now, but I, <laughs> I you know was what? absolutely clueless. You know what I find is interesting about the switches, and I just, I, I literally just went and looked this up last night. Um, in the probable cause affidavit that was, you know, released or leaked, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. it says in there that the switch has not been, it been able to be located. So I, I wonder when they located this. Um, did, and, said it was found under under a dresser or under the tv yeah but the thing, yeah but the thing about it is like that had to be like, like that had to be like the fifth or sixth time they went into the house and found it because they'd been there so many times they already knew about they already had the dollar tree receipt they already had said that Harley was not there during the commission of the murder. They already had charges for her, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. yeah that's Harley's cell phone that you'll see coming up whenever it decides to catch up
Thanks for being here, Nancy. Yeah, thank, uh, thank you everybody for being here. Um, greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. Um, and we're getting there. We are getting there, guys. We're, we're a lot closer than we were. Um, that's just an overhead photo of the suites, Candlewood Suites, where she was staying at. The one in Pensacola near the Escambia Bridge. They're, they're right. trying to show the distance. I thought the, I thought the bridge was the, oh okay there it is yeah here's there's the bridge they're just showing the bridge and that's where she dumped his body and they're just like she said they're they're showing the distance is all they're doing it's 1.8 miles um it, it was just far enough that they couldn't paying her at directly at that spot which is just crazy to me um that's harley's jetta right um that's the car park at the airport i believe see i thought that was harley's jetta and then that's Al's truck, but maybe I'm wrong. No, 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 no. that's not Al's truck. It's okay. 234 is the, the Kia rental at the airport. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Kia. There's too many cars. There's the Kia, the Hyundai, and then the ones they owned. And two budget or two van two uh, rental vans. Yeah. Sorry. And, and she did get. That's our parking ticket, not like a uh, citation, but like the ticket you get when you come into a lot. Parking pass, yeah. Yeah, that's time stamped. And they focus in on the stuff on top of the washer and dryer. And because that's where they find the shoes too. Yeah, yeah. I should show that real quick. Well, they're not on there. That one. But yeah, that's where that's where they find her her shoes with the blood on them is on top of that. Um that's just the DNA swabs from the Nikes and then the paint towel and the washer I wish well maybe maybe we will find out I don't know maybe we will find out but there's a, a different angle of the candle on the couch and the pooch that's a sofa yeah that's a sofa <laughs> these are the trash cans outside the house that's where they find the candle that's where yes. they they find the candle and the carpet padding that she had trashed that she had put in the trash from the from that candle area that was burnt all the way through and the carpet oh. that's what the carpet looked like after it happened so thoughts on that The dogs were with Harley for a while, um, guys. Yeah, that's like, uh, I, I mean, obviously the sock caught on fire. 
because you can, uh, at least that's what I think, but I, you know, I, who knows it, it looks like it was used to cover something else. Why would you put a sock on a plane? Well, the only thing I could think of is that maybe it was on his foot. I don't know. That's after it's been pulled up because you can you can see through it. I, I'm I. What sucks is the only the only two people who the only three people who know, who are ever going to know what the hell happened. One's life, and the other two are up in the sky. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the one that's here is a liar. So that's Gana's toothbrush. That's his toothbrush. Yeah. That's just another angle. It's a really clear angle. Mm -hmm. And okay. this is the, this this was that rug that you mentioned that might yeah. have that blood on it, I think you said. No, I didn't say that. I said it looked like a rug that that was like thrown over a chair to me either that or like it could be one of those like they make these like minky blankets they're called minky blankets and then there's knockoffs of them but they they look kind of like dyed fur so they have a lot of texture it's hard to tell here's a better angle well thank you april she said she just found your channel and she's going to binge watch, binge watch the stout case. I wish I had seen your channel before. I will watch and support you all that you post. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, we got more coming. You know, we're just kind of at um, the mercy of the system right now. Um. I know, baby. I did. I did notice on the body cam footage that when he goes in this storage area and he's he, he looks at one certain area, and it's I believe it's in between these two tanks, and it's almost like he comes to a dead stop well it's not almost like he does he comes to a dead stop and there's nothing i mean you can't he does not make a move mm -hmm. i mean it, he's really i don't know if he's focusing on radio traffic or if he's seeing something that just seems out of whack. I don't know. It may be both, but also like with the hot water heater, there's there's usually like a void. He might just be looking to make sure that that's not a false wall or there's, you know, he's not hiding. You remember they're looking, they say that they're they're looking for a um a child that might be hiding. Uh, that's you know what they said chloe j says this is my first one too thank you this is so enlightening seeing how messy that house was wasn't what i expected well thank you for watching and yay and we agree because it's always been, always been told to us that leticia was ocd and this is our you know you can be ocd in different ways but that she was very tidy that was another thing that was said and this is the polar opposite <laughs> Yeah, you couldn't be any more. I mean, it's not filthy or anything. It's not, wanna, no. But it's not. It looks like a house that's been lived in that has three kids in it. I mean, let's be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, my house is pretty clean, but there are times when, like, I, I'm just like, what the hell happened here? Yeah. And you know, and they showed pictures of Gannon's room earlier. Um, and also, if you go back, 
there is a video with uh, the body cam footage where you can see Letitia in Gannon's room. This is this is uh, this is a photo from the walkthrough because they've got the whole the whole carpet torn up there. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that's a rug. That the rug. I'm sorry. That's the rug that she put down. Yeah, she put a rug so, over it, and then she pulls it up for them to look at. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, see what I did. Don't look at the box cutter, hee hee. But it looked like it was had been cut up and then it was kind of rolled up right here. Yeah, it but doesn't, it doesn't like she, she says, I wasn't even going to tell him. I was trying to hide it until I figured out what I was going to do, which is kind of telling. Anyway, she's not really necessarily talking about the carpet there. I still don't see, no, I still don't see a box cutter. No, I don't either. I, I'm not real sure what's going on with this picture either. It's a bunch of blankets. Maybe that's it's because that's what she was saying. She used to help put the fire out. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's wax all over it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And it actually got hot enough. That's the padding underneath the carpet. Mm -hmm. huh. That's just uh, that's just absolutely unreal to me. I've never seen a candle do that. No ever if anything a candle will put itself out unless of course you add a, a sock with it maybe that's i mean i'm sorry i just thought of something and like i'm gonna apologize because it it's a little far-fetched but do you think there's any way that she that she got mad at him be before the, the candle or let's say the candle was used as to hit him in the head or, or something like that and she drugged him and she or told him she was giving him Tylenol but was really giving him the hydrocodone or the oxycodone and then like she tr she thought for a second she was going to be able to set the basement on fire and Gannon on fire but that then she realized that that like, was like completely crazy and put it out. Anything's possible in her brain. I mean, yep, Brooklyn. I I just said that to um, to Eric earlier. Um, Al said Gannon would never light a candle on his own. That I think he that. There was there, like again, there was a lot of mistrust in the relationship between Al and Letitia because if if you trust your partner, like if they say their car's parked somewhere, if you have a hundred percent trust, you don't go and look for it right away unless there's something already in your mind that's telling you that this person isn't being honest. And I don't think that just happens in a heartbeat. Um, and you know, there might have been some other indicators like with Letitia's relationship with the children and the way that Gannon reacted towards her. But there was something. Yeah. See, Cynthia Sweezy says her first plan was a house fire to save Lena and the dogs. I, yeah, I think that's a possibility. Yeah. 
But I mean, if we're going, if you're going to do that, why not follow through with it? Well, she kept, I mean, she didn't follow through with any of her stories though, either. It wasn't even that her stories didn't work. <laughs> it was like, it wasn't like, I mean, we know people didn't believe him. Nobody believed this, the Gordo story. Nobody believed the Quincy Brown story. Nobody believed the pregnant lady with a belly full of cash story. Nobody believed the selling the bicycle story. Nobody believed Gannon fell off the bike story. Like there were so many that nobody believed, but she changed them anyway. You know, like she didn't necessarily, like nobody really said to her, like, I don't believe you about that, except for like Al, when it came down to it, she would change the story before somebody would say, I don't believe you. So I don't think, I think she wanted to kill, I mean, I know she wanted to kill Gannon, but I don't think she had a really good plan on how to do it. Well, and... You know, hang on. Is that an Amazon box? Is that an Amazon box? The one that says pantry? Yeah, that's an Amazon box. And so is, so are, hold on, let me make this bigger. So are the ones. Well, that I, the ones with the big arrows are Amazon boxes? Yeah, and so is the one that says pantry and heavy and fra fragile. fragile. Yeah, those are Amazon boxes. You can see the Amazon on the end of the one on top of the blue tote. Let's just blow that up and <clears throat> take a gander at it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Way too far. Way too far. Sorry, guys. I got to roll it back up. And it, I mean, there's there's Amazon boxes back in here. I mean, it doesn't mean that any of these are the one where they found the the blood on it. But it's the first time that I've actually seen mm -hmm. an Amazon box. So if I don't get another thing accomplished, by golly, I got that much done tonight. <laughs> Um, Al Mac, yeah, she did have life insurance on Gannon, and um, there was a USAA policy. It's back in here, tucked back in here, guys. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. How about now? You see that? Carpet. I guess I could have kept going where you could actually really see it nice and big. always forget that they have the the close-ups mm -hmm. um that's what was back in that corner the carpet with the blood yeah, yeah. huge blood stain and then, and then this is out on the S curve, and that's the the board. You've probably already seen it. I think I tweeted it out, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. But if you look, the road is just right there. So, I mean, she didn't even take it fifty feet off the road. So 
to answer or to echo what you said earlier. Her plan, I think, went awry from from the get go. Yeah. Because everything just went haywire. And then she was literally she was living she she had the premeditation because we know from the Google searches a week before. And then we have to assume that she took her opportunity because of situational things like the kids had just come back. They weren't happy about it. Al and his mom just, you know, she's so the kids weren't there for a long time and then they come back and they're not happy. Al's mom is there. So your mother-in-law is in the house, whatever their relationship is. And then um, now she's alone in the house with the kids and she has the opportunity and she decides she's going to do it. And then it doesn't go right. And from then on, she's just living minute to minute making yeah, she's making on the fly decisions. Exactly. She's not thinking through things. And then she's having to add to her lies and add to yeah. And and she gets smarter as time goes on, but I mean not smarter, but she like the Faraday bag for the phone. You know, that's Yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, you know, that that's absolutely brand new to me i didn't even know you could buy something like that i mean it's basically well not really i was going to say a phone jammer but i see i didn't i didn't think about it for evading law enforcement i know that um people keep phones and credit cards and stuff in bags like that to prevent people from stealing their information you know, especially like when you travel overseas, like that's a huge thing. Like they tell you to use the the blockers and stuff. And they even sell like women's handbags, like little kind of like cross body bags to put your phone and credit cards in so that like if you don't get pickpocketed, people can't use like devices to steal your uh, Apple Pay information or your credit card information. So... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I knew that that U.S. backpack came in, to, was somewhere in here, but this is before they move it. And then after they move it and hit it with Blue Star, boom. And over here is the steps and that square rug at the, at the bottom of the steps is going up into the laundry room that's lit up and that's the boards and just more boxes and but the one thing here's the tub that whoever if they're still in here that brought up the clear tub that had the blood smear on it we should be coming up on it they were i had the phone on mute they were earlier they were saying that blue tote the bright green handles they thought there was a blood smear on it and i was saying that's possible but there was definitely one on the clear tote because it's in one of the evidence photos Okay, Till Couch Pillow tests presumptive positive Blue Star received from basement living room from the North Couch on January the 29th. So there's blood on the couch pillow. Uh, 
so many paper bags. Um, cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone cover. If you guys are, I I lost track of the chat for a few minutes, but if I, you know, Letitia sent Harley to search Gannon's backpack and like, you know, pretty much out in the open, like you shouldn't have to dig much and get his backpack. They found like a, basically like a Swisher suite, like a, like a little cigar. They didn't find, uh, well, I can't say they didn't find THC in Gannon's system, but I mean, it's that he, Gannon, that was planted. Um, they I didn't find that. any THC in his system, did they? I don't. I, know, well, I don't think they could do a. T yeah, I mean, they did. Found the pain pills. Yeah, they found the pain pills, but I don't think that T. I mean, I know THC didn't show up in his system. Um, they might not have had a, a enough to test for that, but I mean, even Harley said it was weird that you know she was supposed to like look. You should go search Gina's backpack and like looked at her watch and Gina, Harley opens it. She's like, oh, you know that. That just no. Yeah, I know. You know, that I'm on an island <clears throat> with very few people. That um, this is interesting because these are her hands, which she is not concealing in the body cam footage, but she is concealing in the Spencer Wilson interview. Yeah, that's actually something that, I, and they do, you know, this is on March the 2nd, which is ho however many days from January the 27th, mm -hmm. somebody can count them up. I don't know how much you can bank on anything they mark on her hands as having the one that does is this one right here and they don't take a picture of it mm -hmm. that one right there and then you have this little dot here on the end of her middle finger but this one i don't know why but they don't get a you know a close shot of it they just focus on these ones outside of her hand on the outside um, for whatever reason, you know, I mean, we'll never know. We'll never know. But the one thing that before I forget, because we are getting pretty close to the end here, that's just where they finger, you know, you fingerprint pretty much just dumped a whole truckload of dust in there to to fingerprint it. Um, oh my God. Yeah, that's where they're dusting for fingerprints and they're removing the telematic uh, yeah. device. Yeah. yeah. All you have to do is tell me to stop and I'll stop. Oh, no, no, no. I just, I, I was just talking to you and realized I had it on mute because the Oh. <laughs> huh. you don't have to keep muting your mic. You can just, just well, it's, it's a lot. I would like to know what these jeans are and stuff in the trash can. Since the candles in there, yeah, and the clothes that she she had on obviously wasn't the same clothes that she had on in the body worn camera. We're, we're, you know, I would like to know, I would like to hear Harley tell me what she was wearing that day. Right. Or Lena. You know. Because where, you know, where are those clothes at? But um, the one thing I do want to, there's the, there's the. 
flat so, out on the tub on the yeah and it's you know it's actually it's there 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 now uh, we could probably go back through all those pictures and find that purple tub but we ain't going to you're more than welcome to if you want to mm -hmm. um but what what struck me on the on hers there's the amazon uh, box in the chair but what but where what chair is it in i is that in the house or is that oh yeah it is in the house because that's their carpet it's that, that that's definitely their carpet and their walls yeah and you can see a, a pink pillow yeah and the only thing that re, that comes close that looks like a window seal it does and it looks like there's a hold on a water bottle or something oh yeah i i gotta turn my Hold on, I'm playing around here before you switch it. Okay, so it's like a water bottle. Um, yeah, I'm not switching it. Um, MB House, Myrtle Beach, Myrtle Beach House, important folders. And it's got two Apple iPhone boxes in it. Oh, so that's not an Amazon box. It is an Amazon box. But you see the two, uh, the white on the top, and it has like two little, like reddish goldish things. Those are Apple iPhone boxes. Yeah, yeah, I see the I see the phone boxes. Yeah, it, but it, it's an Amazon box. You can see but it's it. it's not the one that's got the blood on it. Um, well, there's a reason it's in here. And it specifically says Amazon box in chair. I, I no, I don't really know. Um, because it's without a like a wider view, it's hard to get right there photo amazon box on chair february 21st of 2020 but where where did you read that's in myrtle beach where it says on the side of the box on one of the flaps it says mb house and on the opposite flap, the flap closest to the window, it says important documents or important folders. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But that'd be awfully strange for wherever they're moving to to have the exact same carpet and the exact same walls, wouldn't it? No. That and box, like, it's from their move from Myrtle Beach. That That's, they packed in an Amazon box from their move when they, because remember they moved from the, well, Al was up in Alaska, but uh, Leticia moved from Colorado from Myrtle Beach. So that was part of the move in that box. And I, for whatever reason, they took a picture of that box. I don't know. And I don't know where it is in, in context because there's not a wider view of that picture that I recall. Like there's not a, you know, like in the room picture. There's just like up close. So it's hard to tell like where in the house that is. I'm assuming it's in the office area, but you know, I don't know. And there's no, there's no windows on the same wall as that computer area. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't. But here's one of what I wanted to say. I'm not going to read all these um, web searches. 
but uh, I must have, I was obviously asleep. I don't remember that her searching for first face transplant woman, full place transplant, transplant, face transplant near me. Yeah. Um, so that was, they, they, they were reading these in court and I, I think I mentioned to you before, like it was distracting because that's when one of the defense attorneys, the one that like talked to Letitia all the time, her, him and Letitia were like canoodling and laughing behind the, la the laptop while these were being read out. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I, I definitely remember that, but I just didn't remember the face, yeah. the whole face. <laughs> yeah. There was lot, yeah, there was a lot of stuff about that. And because uh, I remember the first one was the Palmer Lake Herald and that publication has since changed its name. But remember, I shared with you the other day how um, and I actually spoke to her on the phone and interviewed her, um, the owner of the Palmer Lake Herald at the time publicly called out Leisha for being suspect number one. Um, and so uh, that day that that came out, Letitia was searching Palmer Lake Herald. Yeah. But those two right there, and again, everybody else in the country and around the world probably already knows it, but it was new to me. Six days before she was arrested and her body or his body was found, she searched. Do they check in ditches under bridge and maintenance under ditches under bridges? Yeah, because he was found on March 17th, right? March the 2nd. Uh, no, I thought it was St. Patrick's Day. Hold on. I, I could be losing my mind. Why was I thinking March the 2nd? Yeah, it was March 17th that he was found. Okay. Well, then that gives her... Well, she was already on the run. Oh, yeah. So, that's literally three weeks. She was... Okay. She was arrested. I know where he... Okay. I'm sorry, my brain was running. Hold on one second. I still have my residuals from my flu. Um, she was arrested on March 2nd. He was found almost a little over two weeks later on March 17th. So um, they're what, the 28th of February is the end of the month. So two, four days before she was arrested. arrested yeah she was doing this four days before she was arrested and right. four and 17 21 days before they found his body but four days before she was arrested she was google or she was google searching exactly where she put it or what you know does maintenance check on her? Yeah, she's already dumped him. She's in Myrtle Beach. So that that just blew me away, um, because I I missed that during during the actual trial, um, and of course you all have have already. And he got her anger. If she's not already paranoid at this point, because I mean, she's been, she, she, you know, it goes between being super confident in her lies, the way she tells them, and then being extremely paranoid, like Harley, who's at the door? Who's at the window? Trying to keep track of all the information, right? She's also, you got to remember, this is at the time where she is desperately trying to get this fake polygraph.com report 
and she finally finds out that they're holding it because she mentioned murder in the questions and that it's not being released. And I'm sure it's going through her head like, well, holy hell, you know? Yeah. And then um, I did have this pulled up and then this will be it. This is the footage. Watch what Leticia does. She's waiting for the elevator in the hotel lobby. Or not the hotel lobby, but you know, the, the oh, elevator. Picking that, pulling that wedge out. Get it out of there. And then Harley will be next. Harley with the puppies and the two guys like coming on the puppies and kind of flirting with her. Okay, well, I'll have to redo that. Sorry. Apparently, there's a second part to it that I didn't put with it. Um, but. Well, you can tell. You can tell them you were going to show them. Well, after, after the guys leave, I don't know what she's giggling about or whatever, but. You know, she's standing here giggling, and I know it's just probably, I don't know, every, I don't know if you all do it or not or whatever, but she's literally checking out her ass in the mirror, and she does it a couple, three times. Um, just so take it for what it is. And that's February 1st, 2020. Candidate reported missing on the 27th. So. Yeah, that's four days after. I, I think five, because January has 31 days, but still. Well, oh, yeah, four or five days, four or five days after, and I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, she was, she was a teenager, but still needed a proffer or wanted one. But anyway, we will wrap this up and I know that it went way longer than what I said I was going to do. Um, but like I said, there is a bunch going on this week. If I didn't get it done today, it wasn't going to get done. I've got more coming in. Um, if you're able to, if you can, I've got dollar memberships. $3 memberships, $5 memberships on my coffee app. Um, I have Venmo and I have Cash App. Um, this stuff isn't cheap, guys. I'm not a monetized channel. I run strictly on donations and it's not for profit. It's just to help me cover the cost so I can keep buying this stuff and, and bringing it to you guys. Um, so if you're, if you're able to, they're all they're all on my on my channel. Um, 
or on my Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I am um, the docket on Twitter at Jason Paper eighty nine. Um, Amy is just close. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> just Amy. Just Amy. Um, but I want to thank everybody. I know I didn't do my usual hide everybody. Um, but like I said, it's there's a we got a big week coming up. Um, you mean it is not Mally Mac? <laughs> um so we got because we've got the dorman hearing on the fifth and we got stuff coming in for this case so gonna be a big big week um ames i can't thank you enough mods appreciate you guys so much i know you all want to throat punch me right now because it took so long but i had to get it done man just just i broke my own rule but i had to get it done yeah you needed to get power through thank you for having me thank i enjoy talking to all of you so i appreciate being welcomed here too and i'm gonna say good night um thanks everybody have a great night and we will see you soon um, Discord link is also on my channel, Shauna. It's up at the top, up around the Venmo and stuff. I put it up there. Um, everybody have a great night, and we will see you this week. Bye.